what is going on everybody and welcome in to a week later but you're gonna get a double episode of this week and next week of the pre-patch podcast uh it's it's my fault i'll take blame uh well it's not my fault it's just i, I mean I, I like to think no, it's 100 oh, your fault it's, it's absolutely yeah, we, yeah. we already explained to you that you need to just hook up a generator get <laughs> some sort of hamster wheel and get your power back on yeah i can't i'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you i, I need off you to go and talk to mother nature and tell yep. her to fuck off the next yeah. time that you know Hey, you know what? Put some kind of lightning I, show outside your house. I, I will say, look, after the storm, man, I did went ahead. I like I phoned up Odin, you know, and Thor, and I was like, look, man, y'all can't fucking do y'all can do this shit any other day of the week, right? But every other Thursday, y'all can't do this shit. Like this is just got to stop, man. I don't know what you got going on. I know you got a movie coming out. You're super excited about Love and Thunder, but you just can't be knocking out my powers. This is bullshit. Um, Too much Love and Thunder up there. Yeah. Yeah, too much absolutely. thunder, not enough love. Yeah, yeah. right, right. So, uh, but yes, it was my fault. I'll take complete ownership of that uh, and uh, for the delay. But we're here and we're ready. And uh, it's episode sixty. And this week, um, you know, this show is going to be pretty much a, um, a little bit uh, divergent. <laughs> what? Huh? I said late news. Oh yeah. Well, it's not not late news. I mean, it's better late than never, but it's still important. <laughs> I mean, it's. True. it's Look, like there's a lot of stuff and, um, you know, we're, we're going to be going over all the things that happened, uh, in summer games fest, um, you know, giving you guys our take of it, uh, as well as, um, kind of, you know, our thoughts and opinions, our hype, our, our non hype, um, I'm sure our arguments and all the in between, um, we're not going to go over any kind of games that we've been really been playing because let me, let me just explain something. There's not a lot of fucking games out there right now, uh, to play. Um, no, uh, but, um, we'll be going over the games. Uh, that we're playing next week on next week's show. So this show is going to be completely dedicated um, to the Games Fest and kind of what's uh, going on there. Um, we are still going to go over Twitch news, like uh, that, that's still a, a you know a thing that we you know Twitch doesn't doesn't you know not deliver. So we're gonna we're gonna go over the Twitch news, um, but then we're gonna go right into the game show um, or Games Fest and, and talk about all of those cool things. Um, so yeah, so welcome in, um, again, we've got the entire crew here, super pumped to be back, um, kind of took, uh, kind of got like a little break, right, it was like, like, like a little vacation, so everybody's coming back all pumped up and ready to talk, and super engaged to be here, so, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and kick it off, um, Twitch decides to roll out a new ad revenue system that they really hyped up, they really got like super behind, um, and then the community kind of was like, you know, this is shit. Um, what's essentially. Uh, so, do you guys know about what's going on? Like, what, what Twitch is doing? I, miss this. I mean, I miss a lot in the last week, but no, I have not. Yeah, you were you were playing Mountain Man. Scruffy was out in the yeah. mountains, in the waterfalls. I was in the mountains. He was, he was ziplining from waterfall, acting like fucking Tarzan in the Appalachians out there. So. Yep, that's me. And, and, and nobody, nobody, nobody thought and, like, mistake him for Bigfoot. Like, his... Is like four, five foot two, scrawny foot. ass frame. I was about to yeah. say he's only, no. he's only like four foot six or some shit. <laughs> yeah. No hair anywhere on that man's body. Mm -hmm. Like, in fact, actually, most yep. people thought that the the stuff that was around his like chin was actually dirt. Like there was, you know, I'm sure he had some mountain they, mama. They were, they were like, hey, look at that giant mole rat going through, going on the fucking <laughs> swinging line. <laughs> oh man, I've never, ha I've never heard of them having to having to. Uh, Dude, I'll take give, that. It's funny. Give somebody a weighted vest to go on a zip line because they're afraid they're going to fall off. But it was first for everything, man. So, uh, but no, yeah, it was, it was doing better than me. She was brave. I was like, Oh my God. Uh, it's funny. Um, it was a good time, but no. So Twitch basically rolled out a new ad stru uh, revenue structure um, for their partners. It doesn't, it doesn't go down to affiliates, right? Not that I know of. No, I think no. that they've, they said that they're, they're trying to come into something to do with the affiliates at a later date, but right now this is just for partners, from what I remember. And I, I think actually, if you want to, I mean, you, you've you've read up on it more than I have. Like, uh, I, I I really have, and I, I skimmed over it, so I have. You've probably honestly read over more than I have. Okay. Uh. Well. So essentially, what's happening is they are tweaking the ad revenue to offer more ads revenue if you um in turn do ads properly i mean basically what they're doing the, the short sweet tdl tldr of it is that they are saying hey uh you partners aren't running your ads rolls, right yeah like you're not running your ads yeah. properly you're not running your ads that are making us money um and then they wanted to kind of wrap this shit covered stain uh in a 
um, nice little bow and say, hey, we're giving you more money, but it's because you need to run your ads properly. And so if you don't run your ads properly, we're not going to give you money. Um, so that's kind of the, the way it works. You basically have to roll, you have to do your, your pre-roll, your mid-roll, and your ending roll ads. Um, and there's a certain, for different levels of creators, there's certain requirements for each one. So, you know, it's not just like you can roll one, you can roll five minutes, you can roll three minutes. Like you, you have to roll a specific amount based on your contract and things like that. So, um, yeah, Dumb. that's, yeah, I, I think it's the really pre-roll good. ads specifically, like they can, like, I can get maybe like a little bit more understanding about like mid roll and end roll ads, but like pre-roll ads actively drive people from channels it's it's really yeah. silly that they're making that a requirement yeah to get proper payment oh absolutely i, I like i i think okay, they, so they, they were they were like initially it's a uh it's an option guys you don't have to roll ads if you don't want to and now now there is no option I mean, piece is no a, longer I, an option. what i asked live from the beginning well, that's 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 not true so apparently they're saying that for affiliates and and this is this is to update this as well. They they are planning on rolling this out to affiliates apparently in August sometime. It, it looks like I'm reading off of what uh, their blog post directly. Um, it says, "Don't worry, affiliates. We got you. We got good news coming in August. Fifty five percent ghost for you as well. It's not just AIP users who get the higher rev share. It's qualifying qualifying affiliates as well. Starting in August, just set ads manager to three minutes or more per hour. That's it. And at the end, you you'll have all that shit. Bam, you're qualified for it." get a 55% ad revenue split on your payouts. Um, so apparently what they're saying is, is that if you if you enroll into this uh, three minutes an hour ad thing, so every hour you run three roll or three minutes of, of ad rev, or of ad, whatever you want to call it, right? Ad rolls, you are opted out of pre-roll ads. So you don't have to roll, you don't have to run pre-roll ads. Um, no. when, when was that updated? You said it was just updated? Uh, June 14th whenever they okay. came out with it yep. um because i i hmm, that's weird because i th i thought there was a thing that came out that leaked that it did they that they that that was the case but that they found it somewhere else that it was the fact that you did have to do it via pre-roll mid-roll and that because I, I i heard that it was just minute based because that was the recommendation that a lot of people were, were having were saying like oh it's just minute based and that's what pissed off people was when it came back saying that it might the, have. This, the, the this is just straight back. off of their the Twitch blog. This is just I'm I'm reading it straight off the Twitch blog. So unless if somebody's found something else, then yeah, okay. wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise well, me one bit. So then I'll, I'll put the rumor stamp that this is a rumor stamp is that it does have to be pre roll, mid roll, and ending roll ads. Um, but I've I've heard that from several people that have that have that are close, very close to Twitch, um, say that that's the the way that's going to be run. So I, again, we're not going to substantiate and say that that's true. But that is out there, and I think it is news, and I think it is it needs to be known that that may be a case. Um, we need like a visual graphic effect of a stamp. <laughs> that's because we because we all know that Twitch dude. is so great. At, you know, we all know that Twitch is so great at making visual ads. You know, visual well, fucking what's it called? Whatever you want to call them. Well, now too, I think what even makes me more mad is before it used to be a situation where like you would roll the ad and like the ad would just kind of go to the side, right? It would go up to the side and be kind of small. Now it's the reversed. So the stream goes up to the stop and you'll have an ad. And also the ads were like, oh, one per, like one ad, maybe two ads. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, I've got, I literally had a like viewer six. say, yeah, yeah, that was like, there was nine ads that they had to fucking watch. And I'm like, holy shit, man. That's fucking that's ridiculous, dude. That's so. too much. That's yeah. one thing that I'll say about uh, YouTube is that like YouTube's ad, like it's it's like maybe two, three tops. Yeah. And most usually time the second right. one you skip the longer skip ones. ones. Yeah. The and most of the time you skip them. Do, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think it's yeah the second one you could actually skip. Um, yeah. So, um. Well, and again, well, you know, hey, it's Twitch. I, I don't know. I, I look. Um, I've got it from a a pretty good source that I'm pretty sure we're going to continue to see multiple moves uh still happen from that are going to be leaving twitch and going over to youtube so it's not over uh the exodus is, is i think just beginning on that it's end. ridiculous so um all right well that's that now we move over to uh unless you guys want to talk about anything else twitch related but we're going to move over to uh the chunk of the show that's going to take up all of the rest of the time which is the games fest um 
So we did a show, uh, the last show that we did, we went over Sony's. Um, is there anything on Sony stuff that you want me to reiterate or rebring back up? And I'm going to be showing you guys uh, so you guys can see it, the trailers and of not everything, right? Because that would just take too long, but we're, you know, stuff that we're talking about. That way you guys can see it. You guys can be, uh, have some visuals while we're, we're doing this. But is there anything on Sony's thing that you guys want to bring up or uh, re-talk about? Um, uh, I mean, there is one, it, it was shown in, in Sony's, it was Street Fighter Six. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the Capcom show um, when they did theirs, but they showed a lot more of like uh, Street Fighter um, and what's uh, kind of coming in that. Um, and I think, am I, am I the only one here that's like super excited for Street Fighter? Well, fuck, Scruffy just said, fuck it, I'm leaving. Uh, Street Fighter, fuck this, I'm Scruffy out. apparently is not, yeah. <laughs> he does not give a shit about it. Uh, Bill, I, mean, you... I, 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 don't really, I don't really play those fighting games, so it's, no? uh, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for you because yeah. I know you like them. Yeah. But... I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a good Street Fighter Five was shit, so I'm oh I'm yeah high ho I'm high hopes that this one's going to be. And with all the changes that they're making, it seems like they're taking it more seriously than what they did with Street Fighter uh, Five. So I, yeah, I have pretty high hopes for it. Oh, isn't this one like open world too, or something like that? It's uh, got yeah, some sort of like big change like <laughs> story world based campaign, like a yeah. story campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 got a story, it's got a campaign to it. Um, but the thing that I think excites me the most about it was um absolutely you know, you're completely hundred percent Street Fighter Five um was actually the first Street Fighter I never bought and played um because it was just not good. And from what people are telling me from when they when um or I'm hearing from podcasts and, and different shows I listen to, like them going in and playing this, they had a live demo at the Capcom Expo and on the floor where they could actually play it and get in and get in there and mess around with it. Um, they said it plays very much like old school Street Fighter, like Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha Strike, um, you, know, uh, you know, Street Fighter 3, 4, those kind of things. So they're going back to the roots, which is great. The thing that I love about it is that for people like you guys that are not necessarily into fighting games or for people that want to get into fighting games, what they're bringing in is something they had a long time ago, but they, they didn't. Or I think it was actually in Street Fighter 3, I think they did it. But it was, um, uh, they have an option for you not to have to do like the full motion. So to do a dragon punch, right? You know, it's, it's, you know, the, the motion on the joystick or, or controller, um, you know, and punch and all those things. Right. So what they've done is they'd allow you to map this to just a single button. Um, so you don't have to go through the entire motion um, of doing that. And you can obviously toggle it on and toggle it off. Um, you know, if, if you want to use that, but I think that that opens the door for people that are not in the, you know, really big or, or, you know, are afraid to step into the fighting real world to get in there and actually handle their themselves and, and do well. Um, so I think, I think that's cool. I, I'm excited about that. Um, and I also am excited that they added like so many different elements, you know, of like V trigger and V parry and all of these extra things to make it more of a, uh, a, a, you know, a chess mass, uh, match than it was in street fighter five, where it was just like, okay, I'm just going to wait for you to do this. I'm going to block, 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 block. And then I'm just going to basically push you back and then I'm going to do an attack. It's now going to be more actually mechanically sound and, and more, you know, okay, cool. I have several different options. You know, I need to think about, do I bait out a trigger? Do I bait out a block? Do I bait a parry? How do I, you know, kind of do these things? And it's, it's, I don't know. I think it really opens up the meta. So I'm super excited about it. Um, and, and people said it, it handles and plays very, very, very well. So the only, um, the only thing that I'm like, I'm kind of iffy about is like the graphics and the, and the, like we're we're looking at it right now. If if you guys are on our our uh, our Spotify watching the video episode, obviously you can see it right now with the the weird like almost uh, paint. It's like a paintbrush effect or whatever you want to call it. And I know that that's not usual of Street Fighter, right? Like they usually like to go down more of a, a yeah, hard and gritty route. It's, it's funny right? you say. That. I was literally gonna say that's the thing I'm most excited about. Cause I'm, I'm I mean I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm like like don't don't get me wrong. I'm just it's it's I, I like the way that it looks. Like I like the way that the, the, the actual graphics look. Dope. I just know that it's not something that's usually Street Fighter. Like it doesn't right. scream Street Fighter. When when I first saw this, I was I was literally like, I this doesn't look like Street Fighter. I was I I think I said it was like one of the new, the new franchise fucking fighters, on this on the uh the the stream when I when I streamed this this particular one. But so it looks good. Like, they, it looks interesting. Yeah, they said that people that were playing it were saying that. Uh, and Ma Maximilian dude, I don't know if you're familiar with Maximilian dude. He's a big streamer on Twitch. Uh, has a great YouTube channel. Um uh, and he was very 
worried about the the style because it is a lot of flash um and it's a lot to try to keep up with and um but he said it it literally visually feels looks uh just done really really well like um well the the only reason why i worry about that is because i'm I'm worried it'll alienate the original street fighter crew right and that, that 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 might be a big hit for them I wonder if they'll give you the ability to toggle it on and off like that that would be which i i, I doubt but it would it would kind of be cool because like you know in, in final fantasy and other games we've seen where yeah. like they've been able to turn some of these things off um i think it would be cool to you know give that option but i don't know i'm excited for it man i really am, am uh That's i want to i want cool. to hopefully you guys will get in there and, and we can battle it out um you know they've got custom I tournaments probably will never play it um <laughs> i'll fucking i'm excited it to you. watch it yeah yeah yeah, I, I, I will. I will I watch it. I will, I'll watch you play it, but I probably will never. Play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, understandable. Um, so yeah, so that was uh, one of the ones from the uh, Sony uh, showcase. Um, going back here and looking, uh, uh, is there anything else on the the Sony showcase that you guys wanted to kind of talk about, or would you want to move straight into the? Uh, I mean, we already stuff? covered the Sony so- Sony showcase once. We don't need to do it again, do we? Oh uh, no, I just don't know if there's anything on there that you know oh, you guys are super cool. excited yeah. about. Yep. Um. Yeah. So moving on, um, the next showcase that kind of came up was the, um, ex- well, uh, I believe it was the Xbox, but the, or no, this was just the summer game. So, so this was, it's, it's being called Key 3 um, because it's obviously Jeff Keighley and him taking on kind of the onus. Interesting thing here is what's going to happen next year because E3 is coming back. Um, they are saying like it, it's, it's going to be a thing. Um, and then, you know, Summer Games Fest is still happening. So it's going to be really interesting to see kind of where they go from this and what they do. But a um, lot of stuff was was kind of shown. They, do, they did a lot of, like, indie games um, on... Uh, um, let me bring this over here so I can actually, like, look at the camera and look at what I'm doing. Um, but they showed a lot of, like, indie games. Uh, There's things like uh, Planet of Lana, um, which actually looked pretty cool. Uh, this was, like, a... It's, like, a... Uh, just a really pretty, like, side-scrolling platformer game. Um, but the big news I think that came out of uh, Summer's Games Fest was they showed um, some more Callisto Protocol stuff, which I, we showed on the last uh, the uh, the last show as well, where it was way more like amped up of how to fucking you're, like your guy is going to die. Like they are really animated about your dude's gonna get fucking murdered. <laughs> like that's what's gonna happen, um, and and like unique ways of him being killed. Um, and all those kind of things. So I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, that was, uh, there really wasn't any other than that. There really wasn't anything big that was shown at the Summer's Games Fest. Um, for Key 3 Lee, um, I did want to show this one, uh, cause I think this is like right up, um, your alley, um, for, I think you, uh, both, um, Scruff and, uh, Bill. Um, but it is the Cult of the Lamb. Have you guys, uh, seen this? Or did you guys oh, yeah. see this? Um, maybe. So, sound familiar. Yeah, so it's it's uh it's like the kind of the way that I got uh an impression of it was I think is this just one show the gameplay of it? Yes, here it is. Um it's it reminds me of like uh Binding of Isaac, but like if Binding of Isaac also went and did like Stardew Valley, um or not Stardew Valley, like but this. uh Oh Starve together. Yeah, uh, Starve. I like Starve. this. Yeah. Um but like it I looked lo- interesting it really did yeah the graphic quality oh my god dude it's such a beautiful looking game um but it, it, it's like it's like don't starve meets, it's, it's like it's like don't starve meets uh the, the one that you said earlier meets like i uh, terraria almost it's got like bosses and shit too yeah which it's, is it's, interesting it's stardew valley stardew valley is the one where you have to do like all of like the uh farming and yeah 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 farming and shit yeah, yeah um but it's uh it's coming to, to all platforms so it's basically pc xbox one xbox you know ps4 ps5 yeah, Switch. It's made by devolver that. Digital. yep devolver yeah yeah, yeah. so that looks good it's really cool uh, i don't know I'm, I'm i thought it was a really cool uh showing um i mean you know there again this okay i we have to talk about this did we show did i show did we show skate story in the last one i don't think we did right like no, I, I, I know. So. I know. Enigma and I kind of talked about this some. This is, dude. I already know Scruffy's gonna be like, Yo, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. This is so fucking weird to me. Like, I, I just don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, th- this is the game. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let you kind of take it in so you can kind of see it and understand it. But this is the game. Uh, I feel like Scruffy, like you would be all over this. I don't know why. Um, this looks cool. Got a very interesting like art direction to it. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, when when we were uh, when we were talking about it, I was sitting there saying to myself, like, it looks it looks like the developer was just kind of lazy and didn't really want to finish the 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 model for the character. So they were just like, you know what, that fucking leave it, Polly. Leave that man. leave that's, that shit, Polly, and we'll just fucking slap some put shiny shit on. It. That's like super hot, but next level. Kind yeah. of, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, uh, it's cool. So they're they're calling it a it's a skater. Um, what is the game? Um, like uh, oh fuck. Um, it's like a, a skater like uh rhythm game, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's uh not beat saber. What's that one with the pistol whip? The VR game. Uh, if you've seen Pistol Whip, that this like looks very much like Pistol Whip. Um, kind of styling, yeah. but it's supposed to be like a technical skater like rhythm you just have style to keep game. Going, you yeah. can't stop the flow. Yeah essentially yeah, thing, yeah. um i don't know it was, like, again very oh, yeah. odd very so, weird <laughs> but uh, uh isn't this devolver as well or is this yeah, a different this is devolver yeah, it is. Uh, this is yeah, devolver. Really yeah. 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 yeah it's devolver um sweet devolver had some 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 really uh decent stuff as well um this was another one that i actually i really loved the art style um around and it was plucky squire um this is another game that i just thought like at first, I was like, I don't know, man. This kind of seems really weird. Um, but I, oh, this is that one, that one, it, that side scrolling one. Right? Yeah, it's like it goes from like side scrolling to like. So it reminds 3D, me of Paper, almost, Paper Mario like 2D, 3D. Yeah. yeah, like I get a very Paper Mario vibe out of this. Um, because this is how you play, like based on a book. Um, and like that that you're playing in in this kind of fashion. Um, but I don't really want to, I don't want to ruin it, but it, it, it does this like twist at the very end where like all of a sudden it, it becomes three. You go off. Okay. Yeah, you go off the book. Um, like I, I think what throughout the entire show, what there it is. That's, that's that like that, dude, that, that to me, like, poof, I was just like, dude, this is fucking dope. Like, even if it's only just like a, uh, a, a cheeky little like single player kind of experience, like that is super that's cool. cool. Um, kind of, it, it gives me like a, uh, take two or it takes two kind of style too. Cause like, I think there's, it's, it's multiplayer yeah. as well. I was getting it takes two. Yeah. Uh, vibes it's off like of cuphead it. kind of in a way. So kind of, yeah, <clears throat> that was, uh, uh, another one that they showed. Um, aside from that, there was really, they showed there is no light, but I, I, I watched there is no light trailer. We didn't get really much more. If you guys aren't familiar with there, there is no light. It's a, um, a roguelike game that's, uh, coming out at some point in time. Um, and there was really not much more, uh, shown the trailer. We didn't get a date or anything like that. They did show the core keeper sunken sea DLC, um, which was, which was yeah, pretty cool. I still need uh, to jump into update. that. I, I redownloaded it to check it out and I just haven't, I just haven't popped it up yet. It released, uh, the 16th, which was like two days after this. Yeah. Um, and then after that, it, we moved into, um, the like Netflix had their game show. I don't, I mean, does, does anybody here really give, like, does anybody, does, does anybody that think that fucking Netflix is going to actually make a run at video games? Like this is just gonna be the next Amazon, right? Like Amazon games. We can all kind of agree on that. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I really cannot. The, the crazy thing about it is that Netflix, the, the way that you would think Netflix would want to get into it is just like, Oh, you can just stream your games through our platform. No, they want to have like their own, they want to take the Netflix platform and they basically just want to create another platform that you're just going to use on like your PC and stuff like that to be able to download and try these games. Uh, but you still have to purchase them. You're not, you're not, it's not a subscription based thing. Like I just like, you guys are just, you guys missed the mark all the way around. Um, but uh, yeah, so Netflix, they had their stuff. Um, but we'll get into the uh, the big one, which was um, Xbox. Xbox says they had their game show. Um, yeah. So I know that uh, myself and um, Enigma watched it. Uh, Bill, did you have a chance to, uh, did you watch it? You watched it too, right? I caught the end of it, and yeah. I went back and watched some of the uh, things I missed. I skimmed and... through it. Um, so... Before we kind of jump super into it, um, I, while watching the show, like I was listening to a bunch of different podcasts and, you know, um, up to leading up to this week, I, I'd been going, you know, looking at different sites, looking at different things. And what I think I, I really was, if I was going to be on the show or, or if the show happened last week, I was going to come in fucking hot because I um, was super pissed about 
uh, just, I think, games journalism as a whole um, and where we are in the games kind of journalism spectrum. Um, it, like so many of these uh, um, uh, sites and shows and podcasts and critics and writers, like bashed every single one of the shows, right? It, w whether it was the PlayStation one, the Xbox one, whether it was, I mean, whatever, Devolver Digital, they literally were just like, I want more indie, like for the Devolver Digital, they're like, well, they could have showcased more indie games. They didn't showcase enough indie games. Well, then it was Xbox. They showed too many trailers, but I wish I would have gotten, like they, they didn't show, they, they showed too many things that are coming up now and in the next 12 months, but I want to see the things that are coming out in the next, you know, two and a half, three years. I want to be excited for it. For Sony, they're like, well, they didn't show anything that's coming out soon. They only showed stuff that's coming out way later. And I'm just like, holy fuck, man. I was like, y'all, y'all really, y'all cannot. Can't, can't fucking win for losing, man. Nothing. Like, I'm like, what, what do you want? Uh, I, I literally listened to one show that, that criticized the Xbox showcase. And in the same breath that they were criticizing the showcase, they were praising the showcase, but then criticizing the, pra for people for praising the showcase. I'm like, holy shit. To the point I literally audibly had to fucking be like, I'm done and turned it off. Um, because Jeez. it just. I, it was, can't satisfy anyone nowadays. I, I, it fucking blew my mind. Like, and I, I, just, thought, I, I, I just, I just don't understand what they wanted. Like, for me, that showcase is like the pinnacle of what all the showcases should be: zero fucking talking, show the fucking games, like just show the fucking trailers and get it done with. Yeah. Like, like the the PC the PC game showcase that was that came on like directly after that or the day after I can't remember what it was. That showcase was so fucking hard for me to watch. That I I just yeah, stopped watching it halfway face. through. They they like to they like to, to show it. themselves off more than they like. Yeah, to it's show. it was it was ridiculous, man. I I fucking I, I sat there like halfway through. I was just like, I think I think there was one joke, and I can't remember the joke. It was that stupid that I was yeah. just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. It, it's okay for some <laughs> stuff, you know. We talk about like it's it's fine if they want to have a little chit chat in between, but like I'm, all I'm, the yeah. performances and all the, I'm, I'm okay with like, I'm okay with like one or two little stops between things. That's like, mm -hmm. Hey, what'd you think about that? And then they have like a five minute conversation and then it's back into trailers. Yeah, right. Fucking Amy Schumer out to do some jokes and like, all yeah. right. Yeah, we're <laughs> oh, <yeah. done." laughs> Remember? I mean, if you look back at like what uh, it had, I think it was like three years ago or four years ago, like Nintendo, Sony and Xbox. I mean, like I remember, like Sony's, they pulled a fucking whole entire orchestral group to do like this yeah, whole thing, or whatever else. You walk through this whole experience, which again is Insane. cool, but, but like who, who, if you're not who there, who gets to experience that? Like that's great for the people that are watching, or like actually experiencing it. But for somebody watching it, who gives a shit? The thing is, you look at the crowd and it's like read the room. Like this is not right. what the, they're not doing anything. Like, and then you have you have. Players. Fucking Xbox out there doing oh god dude if I had to watch one more Assassin's Creed Ubisoft fucking like yo we're playing it live but it's really not it's all pre-recorded fucking footage and like they're doing that like banter back and forth like you know you know what I'm talking yeah. about like when they had the, the four the people pre, on the stage established banter yes and it was just like yo okay I'm gonna go over here and open the door make sure you cover me okay covering you it's like nobody talks like this yeah. like nobody does that shit or they bring out the fucking McLaren like or McLaren for the fucking fours it's like nobody cares man. Like, nobody gives a shit. But they literally were just, like, bashing the shit out of these companies for being like, well, they should have done more. It's like, no, show me the games that are coming out. And honestly, show me the games that are coming out now. I don't give a fuck what's coming down five years from now, right? Like, how many times did we get, like, oh, Starfield. Oh, like, even Elder Scrolls 6. Elder Scrolls 6. Or Fallout 5. Like, yeah, I'm glad that they said Fallout 5 is going to be a thing. But yeah. it's not happening. That wasn't, that, wasn't, after... that wasn't even on the show, though. That was after no, I know, the fact. I know. But I'm they just... said that. But can you, like, that's the thing is, do you, if, would you have wanted that in the show? Like, would you have felt more no, compelled? No, to that's, hear that's the, it? that's the thing. When, when they announced, uh, Elder Scrolls six and it was literally just the Elder Scrolls fucking logo in a, a, and a, a, a what's called a, a, like a, it was a flyover. A flyover. Yeah. yeah. A flyover. I was like, that was completely useless. You just wasted two minutes of my life. That's yeah. showed me absolutely fuck all nothing. Yeah. It was, it was not, it was not good. Like, so I, I don't know. So, but they were just like, show me games that are going to happen in, you know, 2024. Why do I want to own my Xbox? I don't know for the next 12 months or like, why do I want to own my, my, my PlayStation? I don't know for the next 12 months, these games are coming out. Like what the fuck do you want? Like, I don't know. It's crazy. Rant over. Uh, I was super pissed. Um, shocker, right? Since, since, since pissed about something. Um, so they kicked off with Redfall. Um, and I, I I'm just going to say this, right? Like, dude, 
I thought that this showcase was a banger. I thought there were so many games in here that I was just like, yup, 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 yep, want, want, need, want. Like, um, so this is Redfall. Um, uh, Enigma, I know we talked about a little bit about this uh, when I was streaming, but um, it is, in fact, uh, they have verified it is open world. Um, open world. Yeah. It is 100% open world. Um, it is, uh, it's drop in, drop out. The only negative side is that if you, whatever, whoever is hosting the game, um, that is the story progression that happens. So if you, if mm -hmm. now your character will progress, your, your, your stuff will transfer over like loot items, things like that, want, but the, but the missions will not, you'll have to replay those missions. Um, but it's, what, but what they're okay. saying is that be, the way that they're going to combat that is basically like going, well, look, you get to play through this and eventually to get better loot, better things, better gear, you're going to want to play on harder difficulties. So you're just like, you're not wasting time by doing it. Yeah. Um, so, but uh, Redfall, you guys, do you guys know what this is? Like, yeah, I've hopefully. been really excited for this. Actually, to it. it looks yeah. so good, so good. Um, I'll skip forward here to some uh, to some gameplay, but um, yeah, it's a, it's basically a four player uh, co op style game um, where you are. I think about Back for Blood, but if Back for Blood or or Left for Dead was fully open world, um, and vampires and vampires, yes, not zombies, yes. Um, but uh and you had yeah. like magic i almost powers. i almost equated it to i uh, what's what's the what's the one from undead labs uh for for xbox uh, state of decay yeah state of decay i, I almost for i equated to like a state of decay with vampires instead of like back for blood from what i from what i'm understanding it's like an open world you have little missions and, and little territories you have to take control of inside of the city etc yeah. etc so I don't know. It looks cool, man. I mean, I, I thought it was a hell, a hell of a way to start it because we hadn't seen gameplay. Um, you know, so this was the first gameplay that we actually got to get a whole, our hands on. Um, and uh, the other thing about the Xbox game uh, showcase is that um, I can't say all, but pretty much almost every one of these things that they had all was coming on Game Pass. Like these are all like day one. Like if there's a reason for you to own a Game Pass or, or, or you had doubts about a Game Pass, th this this pretty much crushed it. This was like, look, Play all these fucking things day one on Game Pass. Like, why not try it nope. out? If you don't like it, just try it on Game Pass. So, um, yeah, that was Redfall. Um, Hollow Knight, like it, man. It looks yeah. really, it looks really good. Yeah, yep, that'd be a fun one. Yep. Um, Hollow Knight uh, is getting their uh, Silk Song. I'm super stoked about it. Did you guys play Hollow Knight? You guys? No, yeah. no. I didn't. I need two DLCs, but yeah. early yeah. enjoyed the base game. Yeah. Did you get Did you get to watch the trailer for it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. It looks, it looks well, like more Hollow Knight, which is what people want. So yeah, I mean, I don't think really like they don't, don't need to change the formula up too much. Yeah, it's the it's new like character, the new new play styles and stuff with that character. Um, yeah, it seems you're seems playing a different good. character in this. Yes. Yeah, you play. Uh, you play uh, oh shit! What's her name? I can't remember. I have needle no bitch. <laughs> needle. Yeah, the, the, yeah. <laughs> needle bitch. That's her name. <laughs> Yeah. Say that. Say that three times. <laughs> You'll summon her. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I don't know, man. Hollow Knight um, was one of those games that I think is just. Oh, you I think, enjoyed it. Yeah, dude. It, it stands the test. Of I, time. I, enjoy, I enjoyed. I enjoyed watching you stream it. I haven't. I haven't played it before. I think the first Hollow Knight is on Game Pass right now. Maybe I'll. You know, yeah. have to take a look at it. It is. Um, they they do such a good job of like letting you. Like letting completionists feel like there's a reason to go and do completionist stuff, but then also at the same time, like giving you like if you just want to run through it, you can run through it. Um, but yeah. it's the way this like the same as like Ori and the the Wisps. Like these these games remind me of each other, like in ways. Yeah, no, I'm excited for it. I mean, we've been waiting. We've been waiting for a Hollow Knight uh, um, game to come out, uh, another one to come out. So it's good. I mean, we've uh, known this game's existed for a while. It's just been like. They've held it. I think they yeah. just want to do it right. Yep. Which is good. Need more developers like that. Um, I'm not going to show the high on life stuff um, or the League of Legends. Um, I'll, we can talk about the League of Legends stuff because I think I think, it's, I think, I think we should honestly stuff. talk about the League of Legends. No, no, no we'll really absolutely much. talk yeah. about it. High yeah. on life. That's fucking huge. High on life is a game by the Rick and Morty people. It feels like Rick and Morty. It it, it looks like Rick and Morty. Um, you, you can't can actually make a good game this time. Yeah, you can't really get showing it here without showing the audio is not going to matter because like the audio is half of the fucking yeah. thing, so it's not really going to matter. But 
Um, I found it really weird. Like the the different the different guns had like different fucking personalities, but that's just Rick and Morty. Like, well, yeah, it's just fucking weird. I think it's better than their last like Rick and Morty game they did. I can't remember. The only game that they've done that's been like reasonably well received was the VR game. Was that Trove or whatever else? Like Trover? That's the one I'm talking about. I didn't care so much for that. No, Trover was the one that they did for for PC. The the one I think the one that they did for VR was like a. It was, it was a job, job, job or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it was like the yeah, like the desk familiar. job one, but Rick and Morty style. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Thought, I, I, thought really Trover, I thought they did do uh Trover Saves the Universe. They um, did they did do Trover, Trover, but that's VR that's not the, that's not the one they, they, it, it was originally for PC, but it wasn't it, it got ported, I thought. Oh. But yeah, that's not the one that we're talking about. It's yeah. the, the the one that we're talking about, it's it was like a you were in like an office and it was like the Stanley it was like almost a Stanley Parabell type game. But oh. Okay. Rick and Morty, yeah, like yeah. humor. Okay, um, yeah. I mean, do you guys ever play Odd World Stranger's Wrath? No. Like yeah. the, it was, it was the first person shooter Odd World game. Um, it, it's that game. If you if you go and play it, or at some point in time, go watch the trailer of Odd World Stranger's Wrath, and it literally this reminds me so much of that because the guns like talk and they have different like mechanics and they like there's funny and quirky and like weird, and that's exactly mm-hmm. what this kind of uh, seems like. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it didn't draw me in aside from like the Rick and Morty humor. It didn't really draw me in as being like, oh, I definitely have to go play this um, kind of thing. Wait, um, but I'm, so I'm at least looking at it. Style. You said, what'd so, you say, Bill? I'm burnt out on their humor style. So it just, it just seems like more of the same. Yeah, I get it for sure. Um, okay. Yeah. So Riot News uh, or Riot League of Legends. Uh, xbox I, I don't think did anybody see this fucking coming like i did not see this no oh, man for a mile away like oh yes especially since they just barely brought everything out on uh epic i was like i i would have thought that epic and tencent would have locked that shit down but apparently not yeah i don't it, dude it hearing this i was like no fucking way did, did xbox do this but essentially what we're talking about is xbox is partnering with um uh riot love you too bud i'm on a show <laughs> sorry kids uh but um xbox is partnering with riot um and if you have xbox game pass you are getting every single champion from league of legends every single champion from league of legends wild rift every single um little whatever guy uh i, forget, I don't know what they're called um but the um the little things on uh legends of rune uh, uh team fight tactics i forgot what they're called the I don't know the little avatar things you get all of those you're getting all of the cards uh for um uh rune terra um you're getting all of the fucking valorant stuff like the 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 champions from that like holy shit (laughs) you're talking about hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars like in characters just just alone because like league of legends like you can get them kind of quickly but in Valorant, it's it's very difficult to get those characters unlocked. Like it's not simple, and that's and usually it's just hey, I'm gonna buy them. Um, so thoughts? What are your guys' thoughts on this? Insane, it's man. A good move, yeah. Yeah. Like I I didn't I did not call it. Like I, I I could see them like bringing it over, like bringing all these games over, and and just leaving it at that. But to give you every single fucking champion from all of their games. And and that's not that's not even including like the uh that's not that's not even including like the newest ones. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that anything that has released since like the point that they made that deal, you get. So you get all the newest champions that they just released as well. Everything. Yeah. So here it, it, it seems like it's just gonna keep giving you the like the champions. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is this yeah. is the list for League of Legends: All Champions, Wild Rift, All Champions, Valorant, All Agents, Runeterra is all is foundation sets unlocked. Um, I'm not a Runeterra player, so I don't know what that necessarily means. If chat, if you guys are, please let us know. And then the secret little legends, which are like the little avatar guys, those are all unlocked. Um, but what happens if you happen to drop Game Pass? Do you just lose access to? Yes, that's what I'm wondering. Probably. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah probably, you probably have to log in through Game Pass. Is, yeah. is it going to link to your existing account, or is it going to go off of Xbox? No, account? I'm pretty sure you're going to have to make a new account. Yeah. Oh, I, doubt, I doubt it. I bet. I, I I bet they'll just link through your right. Like, they can make it link. I can't, uh, dude. If they make you do a whole brand new account, I think that would be crazy. I, I think there'll, there'll be an. I, I don't think they would do it otherwise. 
I, know I, I, I am willing to bet that to give you every single champion, they are not going to say, "Hey, the person that, that's had this this game since you know 2015, just come on over and purchase Game Pass for ten bucks. We'll give you all the champions." I am one hundred percent certain that they're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, they could do it. Through, they could do it through an OAuth. I uh, well, absolutely. We'll have to see. Yeah. So, um, but I mean, it, it's it's huge, man. I mean, uh, I can tell you, I've spent thousands of dollars in league <laughs> so i'm like well that sucks but i mean I'm well, just just right things. just right now for, from like 2020 alone i i'm just looking at how much it would have cost to buy all the champions i can't find anything for 2022 but just alone for all the champions and this is just base level champions from league of legends alone would cost you 113,000 rp which is about 600 700 dollars right there per person That's just baseline <laughs> champions yeah per person so just Perverse. think about that yep. <laughs> that's, that's it's crazy man i mean that's look it's it's again it's smart like I, i'm given i give xbox props for this man that's it's smart um all of that nice yeah Got i want to I, I would love to know how i will we'll never know but i would love to know how much money fucking microsoft is shelling out for that like yeah it's, yeah, it's i want to i want to i hope it's a lot so that season two of arcane is just like amazing I'm sure it will be. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure they. I'm sure it was no small feat. Uh, it's already in production. I'm. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. But yeah, I'm sure that was no yeah, small but... amount of money um, to throw out there. So. Oh no, not yeah, not at all. And I and I wonder honestly, like, because obviously you know the the buying season is still upon us, right? Like we're we're still seeing acquisitions and takeovers and all of this kind of stuff. I wonder if this was not a play of of Microsoft being like, "Yo, we're about, we're gonna buy fucking Riot. Like, we're we're gonna buy you from Tencent. We're gonna buy out the 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 rights, right? Like, fuck it." Um, and then someone somewhere, like, in in like the federal government was like, "Yeah, no." Or someone just was like, "Yo, we can't be in the middle of like another acquisition. Like, we're we're in the, we're trying to buy Activision Blizzard. Like, you can't also buy Riot, fuckers. Like, that's not, no. Like, chill." So they were just like, "All right, well, we'll just partner with them." Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for next year. <laughs> yeah, right. I see one. So, um, uh, a Plague Cell Requiem. They showed that. Uh, anybody? Anybody? I didn't. I never played it. I it watched actually it. Look bad. I, I, I never. I never played the first one. But that, like this, this does not look terrible. Like the way that they took it doesn't look terrible. Yeah. The first yeah. one was really good too. So like, yeah, I might have to play them. Yeah, I never. I never played it. Well, Bill, did you? Did you play it at all? No. No. Nah. I, I know people are super excited about it. Um. We're Forza Motors on Game Pass. The first one's on it is. Game Pass right now. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, Forza Motorsport. They showed this. Uh, I'm not gonna show the. Tra- I'm not gonna show the trailer. I don't think we need to show the trailer for it. But what I think, I think is every inter- Forza trailer is the same. Oh yeah, it's just car. It's car corn. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think the interesting take here is they are taking the model that people have been asking Madden and all these sports games to take. Uh, they're scrapping um the n- numeric behind it um it's not forza motorsports 5 or anything like that they're scrapping it completely they're making it just a base uh live service game so forza motorsports they're going to reiterate on the engine they're going to reiterate iterate on the game um and they're just basically making it a live service game so essentially think about this as just you're going to own forza motorsports and if you want the next iteration or whatever else uh if you have game pass they're going to give it to you if you want to purchase it you can buy it as kind of a dlc or, or whatever kind of update kind of thing um, we've seen a lot of this happen with FIFA. FIFA has been doing this with like their ultimate teams and their cards, but they have still come out with iterations of their games. But I think it's a smart move, man. Like, um, I'm sure it's, it probably costs them. They're going to take a hit in the, the earnings department, but I think it's a smart move from a gamer standpoint. I don't, I don't think they'll take a hit at all in the earnings in the earnings department. Cause what's, what's going to happen is, is instead of, instead of releasing just a new game every year, it's just going to go straight to, to, uh, microtransactions. Which people are much more happy to play for microtransactions than they are to pay for the same game every yeah. other year, you know? Yeah. Well, they learned a lot too from Horizon. I mean, um, you know, yeah. Horizon Speaking Five. Of Horizon Five Hot Wheels. Yeah. I, I was. I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, that's dope, right? Like, uh, we'll, we'll show the yep. trailer for it. I mean, you, you're like rolling around on a fucking volcano on a Hot Wheels track, like yeah, with these supercars. Like, it's. Forza Horizon 5 has been uh like I, I play it off, you know, I don't stream it um or whatever else because it's it's been out for a while, but it's I don't know, man, it's just like really enjoyable and relaxing just to get in there and fucking just drive around and, and bullshit, right? Um and, and whatever. But then like when I saw this, I'm like, what the fuck? But this is like I mean, how do you make a car game fun, right? Like how do you continue to make it, you know, fun and interesting? 
they do some yeah. silly shit like this, right? It's um, stupid shit, yeah. Right. So well, that, some- that's the, honestly like this is the kind of shit that makes like racing in GTA five fun. Is right. like the the custom maps that they do in GTA five. Yeah. For me personally at least. Like yeah. the, the the custom maps that you can do inside of GTA five where like it does this kind of shit where it takes you up and over and, and makes you makes you go in loops and, and you're you're flying you're no you're 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 driving through the sky on like uh platforms that make you go faster. That shit is awesome. Like to me, that shit is fun. Yeah. No, Extremely like- fun in comparison to like normal, normal, just everyday races. Like obviously you're going to have your, your, uh, your shrouds or, or your, uh, what's the other guy that, that does a lot of racing in, uh, right. in GTA. You're talking about summit. What's it? Summit. summit yes. Summit, yeah. Yeah. You got, you got your shrouds, you got your summits, the, like the, the street racing and everything like that. But like, Hey, thank you. <laughs> GTA online makes a lot of money off of this shit. Yeah. Well, also too, this made me more than anything. This was like, yo, I would love to fucking have like a wheel for this, like to be like the full blow. Because yeah. it, it would be fucking nutty. To, like, I don't here. play racing games is because I would want Same. the full yeah. setup, you know. Yeah. Unless it's like GTA, it's it's less. I feel like well, GTA we've is got more casual. Yeah, it, it really is. We we've got one guy uh, in our in our stream team, I uh, uh, plagued that does a lot of racing, and he he bought a uh, a, a wheel for his. Yeah. But found out extremely quickly that like when you buy a wheel for some of these games like forza and shit like that brings a whole nother side of complication to like set up time oh, with yeah. your game because you have to not only like do finite tweaks to like your dead zone you have to do finite tweaks to your fucking your shifting your gas pedal everything like it's it, not, it's it not brings plug and play. an entirely <laughs> another level of headache to that shit yeah <laughs> Pork chop has a uh, wheel and stuff set up too yeah yeah, it's, and then I, I know I've watched I've stuff. watched Porkchop, and he took for hours to fucking set that shit up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, the ones that blow me away is the ones where you see like it's got like the full fucking mon like the monitors all yeah. the fucking way around like yeah. it's in the seat the that seat rumbles that, like, like moves. And that's dude, that shit. That's dumb, on, honestly like that's anybody that does like any kind of like actual hot stuff. Like if you look at some yeah. of the people that play like Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous, like some of their setups are insane. Yeah, I I know of a dude that literally his there. There's a guy I, I was looking at Reddit uh, a while back for for Star Citizen. He literally like remodeled his entire fucking gaming room to be the bridge of the ship that he owns in Star Citizen. I think I've what seen that guy. What happens if a ship gets blown up? Star Wars. He Scott he, he literally co- I, I think it cost him like thirty five grand. What? Yeah. All of it. <laughs> thirty five grand. <laughs> Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? He's he's got like the full wall of like seventy inch TVs he's that he can just yeah. yeah. It's crazy, dude. Wow. That puts that... put puts uh, <laughs> sin to shame. Yeah. I don't know if I can spend thirty five grand, man. Like, I can get I can go to the like I I live by the motto it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. I don't know if I can go to the wife and be like, <laughs> hey babe. Um, yeah, no, so I just spent thirty five grand. Yeah, I know it's the price of a car, but the cool thing is it's like it's like a desk. But yeah. for video games, <laughs> like yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I'll be I don't driving think... the car in a video game. This, yeah, this is this is coming from the guy that wanted to buy the Scorpion fucking. I still want to buy that. What are you talking gaming, about? I still, I still want that. The only thing that I, that I am why I have not purchased it yet is because I'm like I don't know if my floor will support my weight and that weight <laughs> of that thing in this room. So it's got to be on uh, the concrete floor downstairs. You're gonna have to kick right? one of your kids out. Yeah. Hey. I, well, they're upstairs. I'll just kick the wife out. I'll be like, babe, oh, babe you're going upstairs. You go. Putting us in the mask. Um uh the since we're talking about simulators, uh flight simulator, they launched uh, their 40th anniversary is coming. Um this one was actually impressive to yeah. me, man. Like I I kind of I, I don't know if you want to say it or not, but like the, the reveal that they did. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll show it. Like the the, the reveal that they did was kind of crazy to me. And and it's, it's I don't know why it surprised me so much considering it's Microsoft, like they're both Microsoft owned entities, right? Or well. No, Bungie's not. No, oh, no, yeah, Halo, Halo is still Microsoft. I was, yeah, about to say, I was like, wait, three for what? three. Yeah. Um, but they they did a uh, they did a, a, a like a, a a partnership with Halo where you can actually like go and fly the Halo spaceships not only just around Earth but into fucking space, which is crazy because I don't yeah. think they've done that before in, in flight no. sim before. No, they haven't. That funny moment where Flight Simulator has a better game, better Halo game than actual Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, man. Yeah, you never know. You never know. I thought um, it was cool though. I, I've I've always I've always looked at like flight sim and been like, dude, this would be such a cool game to play. And then I think about it and I'm like, I don't want to spend that much time trying to learn how to fly. 
Well, they they have different modes where you can make it easier, right? Um, like I, I know they yeah they they have like a an arcade mode that makes it easier. Like I I thought about getting, if, you get, I thought if about, you're gonna do it, just do it. Like if yeah. you're gonna do it, do it the right way. Well, I know I have friends that have done training like that. They this, they got their pilot's license. Oh, doubt it. Yeah, via flight sim. Um, like that's what to me I was like yo because I do want to like that's my next venture is I want to get my pilot's license. Um, and I mean, well, I'm that like, was, that was originally what they developed flight sim for, like in, in the early eighties, like that was originally flight sim, the flight sim from Microsoft was used as a simulator for pilots. Yeah. And then it got released privately or not privately to the public. Right. Yeah. I, I what I, would I, I, did they open this up for like, I know there's some, some modding, but like, do they really open it up? Like steam modding, stuff like that. Like, because I, I would, don't know. I could check, but I, dude, I'm pretty sure they do. I would love for them to do uh, like a super like with their ability to do like uh, the the whole controls and like in depth, but like an actual dog fighting game like uh, that to me, I think would be fucking dope. I don't know if they would. I don't know. I mean, again, they've modded it and allowed it, but I don't they wouldn't probably do it, but I think it'd be dope. But here's the yeah, reveal. I, this is I love dog fighting games. Yeah, this is uh, when they go into space. Um, just saying flat earthers out there it's just it's, it's curved if, it's, it's round it's not flat i mean they they definitely do not have a i mean it's not a small modding community on on nexus mods there's popular of all time you've got uh 26 pages worth of mods which is a decent okay. amount of mods all right well there you so go. it's not it's not the most like obviously they there's they're like fucking skyrim has like 860 pages but <laughs> well, yeah. 25 the 30% of it's porn. Can, can true, I, wait, true. for, for flight sim? What are you just not, flying not around a big, say that, big <laughs> not supposed to say that word on your stream, Bill. Come oh, on, man. Shit, dude. You, you think I care? <laughs> okay. Well then, so wait, are you talking about flight sim? You can just fly a big floppy dildo around like just a big purple <laughs> floppy <laughs> dildo with wings. They call it the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, right? Big old, big old floppy <laughs> dildo with wings. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Going straight into space with that bad boy. Oh man! <laughs> hey, it might have the aerodynamics. There's nothing right, stopping it, and hey. it's made of made of polyester and sheer plastic. It'll, or whatever, it'll survive. You know? It's got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It takes me back to remembering like uh, Austin Powers. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen Austin yes, Powers. I love like, Austin Powers. Like, yeah. Uh, the, with Doctor Evil's ship. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. it. Was kind of a cool little uh, little partnership. I yeah, thought it was kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, I think it's dope. Um. Oh man, I don't know if I want to say this. Uh, so they right after this, they talked about Overwatch two. <laughs> yes, say what you want to say, Sin. Say what you want to say. You mean you mean Overwatch one point five the patch? Uh, I that's not I, I I I bought the the forty dollar. Oh my oh my <laughs> god, Sin. Man. Dude, I'm bored, man. I want to play something new. It so you're bored, down. so you bought a game that's not even out yet? Yeah. Uh, Jesus Did Christ. Did you also hear that uh, once Overwatch 2 comes out, they're cutting support for Overwatch 1? Uh, they're not that cutting support. They're cutting all yeah. of it. It's not. It's taking its place. So Overwatch 1 will it no doesn't longer surprise exist. Me. I, I think when we talked about Overwatch, I said that that was going to happen. I said they would 100% lock down Which Overwatch. Which is the most scummy, bullshitty thing that... Well, it's Blizzard. <laughs> they surprise. As long what? as I, the multiplayer I'm, transitions flawlessly. I'm, I'm confused, though. I'm confused, though. Sin. It's free to play. Yeah, I don't understand why you bought it. You why just would you buy the, it? the PVE then? You're no, the I don't. I don't. Uh, to be hundred percent honest, I don't know what the fuck I bought. Um, all I know is I got access what? into the um, um, spendable income fund, folks. I mean, hey man, I've worked my ass off to get where I'm at, where I can fucking hey, spend wow. my money. So yeah. you burn that money, you pay what you want for it. It's just um it's so what i know of is that it, it gets you into the beta 100 percent, which I, i'm sure i could have just got a twitch drive and gotten into the fucking beta um you but, were probably already in the beta from the first beta yeah you probably played. probably i mean you probably. played overwatch one so you you've played the beta so um it is i know i get like i don't know premium stuff i think it's a battle pass i don't know what the fuck i got but it was whatever so i was like yeah sure it's all attached Sin, right I'm off not, in the end. I'm You're disappointed in me. I don't care, I'm man. Just, You're disappointed. I got I'm it, Dad. I'm disappointed. I got bro. it. I got it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's uh, they're it's not. They need to stop calling this Overwatch Two. Like they need to they need to stop calling this Overwatch Two. They just need to call it. Well, Overwatch, especially since they're getting and, rid of Overwatch One. They yeah. should just call it Overwatch. They should be like, hey, by the way, 
you're gonna have to buy this again we're and we're just we're just gonna call it overwatch okay so here's what i got thank you pika i got uh oh, the um overwatch in-game content season one premium battle pass two legendary space radar ra uh, raider hero skins oh two, man two thousand overwatch two virtual currency season one through oh three, man three, premium battle passes will be available for uh a thousand currency each um and then i also get overwatch legendary edition which i already own <laughs> so yeah. nice so you bought skins so yes. essentially, essentially you just put money in bobby codex pocket for nothing pretty much i like to think of it that i that i put it into well. phil spencer's just, just, better than him spending it on a mortal you just you just, you just, yeah. you, just you just stuck a little you know a little 40 in, in bobby codex panties and we're like there you go that's for you that's for you yeah i gave it a little kiss <laughs> This one's for you, Kodak. Mm. Uh, no, I don't know, man. I like to think that I gave it to Spencer, Phil Spencer, man. I like to think that I gave it to him. So I mean, he's he doesn't own it yet. Shut up. Just let me let me <laughs> rationalize this in the most fucked up way I possibly can. Okay, I'm ashamed of myself wow. as it is. So, um, that's, yeah, that's like that's like the shame of of one of those uh, those weird jerk moments that you have where maybe you're like, I can say that's some post nut regret. Man, I, I should not have done that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe i can refund it i don't know I'll see oh anyway. god Jeez, uh man. i shouldn't have told you guys i was gonna keep it quiet but i should have anyway um you would have found out about it one way or another yeah dog in your face um so uh well see right there i got the i got the early purchase exclusive overwatch 2 player icon like that's worth oh, 40 dollars alone you, you can't live without that <laughs> it's not even an nft man i can't even resell it so um all right, our uh, uh, history untold came out. That they didn't show anything. Oh, we don't even. I don't even know what the fuck this game is. Um, but that was there. Elder Scrolls got a new expansion, and they showed that there. And hey, Fallout seventy six got a got something. Uh, no, you guys, I do like the pit. That was one of the good expansions from Fallout three. Like, yeah, well, it's not going to be a good expansion. Yeah, for say, Let's be real. It's on seventy six now. So, do you want to see it completely destroyed? Because you can go play it on Fallout seventy six. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's on Game Pass, so you know. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah. Um, we got to see Vin Diesel ride some more dinosaurs. Um, in Ark Two. Okay, 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 okay. okay. This, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat crow, and I'm gonna say, like, I get, I gave a shit the other day when we were watching this, right? I was like, I don't understand why this is a thing, right? But I read more into what the hell they're doing on Ark Two, and it's actually impressive if they can do whatever they're gonna do for it right like some of the stuff that they're saying that they want to do like they're updating it obviously to um the unreal what's it five, called? Right? Uh, unreal 5 yep <clears throat> so it's on the uh, the latest game engine which is nice because unreal 5 is a lot better than the a lot better to develop on than the shit unreal i think three that they were on some something like that i uh, they're doing a, a complete rework of the uh monster ai they're adding in pve factions that you you can build relationships with and you can uh you can also combat so you're gonna have pve factions it's not just gonna be the 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 not monsters the fucking dinosaurs that you're fighting against in arc now right but do i get They're, to play uh, as making, vin diesel what's that do i get to play as vin no diesel? i don't think i don't think you get to play as vin diesel i think i think vin diesel is one of the faction leaders essentially i so. still see no reason why vin diesel <laughs> I don't it's either, not. honestly. Like that—that that is one thing that I can't agree with. I have no fucking idea why Vin Diesel is even a part of it. He's just a super I just, fan, from what I understand. I, 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 yeah, that's what I was about to say. He—he he must just play it a lot, which it's, it's would not surprise family. me because that's—that seems like a Vin Diesel thing to do. Like, fuck you, dinosaur! I'm Vin Diesel. <laughs> just punches the fucking T Rex right in the face. Hits him with a, a challenger, fucking, right? Just a fucking car comes out of nowhere. Yeah, like, kills, kills a, or, you know, one of his teams gets fucking killed, and all, all you hear is the "It's been a long day." Hey man, don't you don't don't fucking do that, man, dude. Paul, I feel bad for Paul. Like I miss Paul Walker, bro. Don't don't do that. Oh god, but yeah, no, it, it's it sounds like a good upgrade, honestly. And I, and I I'm I'm eating crow because I was like, that sounds stupid to me. I don't know why they're doing that. They should just update, you know the current arc it doesn't look as silly as arc does like I sure I can still make a monster on it though. then maybe i'll play I'm, it. Pretty, I'm pretty sure you will and bill you might actually like it dude because from what i've seen the combat they're taking away a lot of the ranged combat and they're making it more of a melee focused combat but they've also said that it's going to be more of a dark souls uh combat where you're going to be focusing on like parries dodges um iframes 
things like that. So, yeah, my life. Just, dark, I've never gotten to or, uh, Ark because it, it just looks so silly to me. Like the way that I don't know the combat is. It looks clunky, and I understand like it's clunky. Yeah. that's maybe where some of the love comes from it. But I don't know, just not my I played some yeah. server stuff with my community. It's a it's a good time. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing it right now. Like that. That was one thing we we were going to talk about with the uh, what we're playing. The you know this week. I'm I'm playing it right now on their new map that they just released, which is uh, Fjordur, which is a, a Viking map, and it's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Here, Ali. it. I love it, man. It's it's it, it, the map is actually really good. They they split it up into like six di- or like four different regions. So it's like one map that has four other different maps. Inside Vikings of Vikings and dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have robot dinosaurs. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, they do. Yeah, <laughs> and space and aliens. Yep. I mean, if you don't know, it's all inside of a giant alien simulation anyway. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, no, it, it looks good. Like I, I, I got to eat crow because, like, like I said, I was giving it shit when when it showed you know, when it showcased on the uh, on the the Xbox showcase, right? But some of the stuff that they're doing seems impressive if they can do it. Now, granted, the AI, like them reworking the AI, the AI. They've been saying they, they want to rework their AI for years, and it's it's not it's never happened. So we'll see if they can actually get get to that. Because one thing that they're they're saying that they want to do is make it so that um, the dinosaurs, like right now, how the dinosaur AI works is once it targets you, it will fucking chase you to the ends of the earth until you, basically you break line of sight to a certain point, right? Well, with the new one, they want to make it so that you can actually like do active camouflage, like you can you can uh, mask your sense, you can wear ghillie suits everything like that and and it'll help you not be detected by the by the dinosaurs so yeah cool well, there you go uh get it's i don't know it's arc has just never been something that i i've tried I've, i don't know if i can get maybe i'll try this one because uh, it's on game pass but arc um, i figured it'd be your cup of tea and there's a whole online community about griefing players and that's like your favorite thing and i don't like, i don't I don't, I don't I don't get enjoyment out of griefing players i just get enjoyment out of being better than people okay just okay warden hey hey man. Okay, fishing warden it don't someone's got to do it man it's a dirty job someone's got to keep those fucking <laughs> what, those, those lakes sounds, sounds like clean. what a griefer would say yeah somebody's got to do it it's it's, it's a rough job tranquilize somebody drag them to a box continue <laughs> feel like feeding them narco berries until they agreed to farm mats for you <laughs> no no i would not i i, 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 play, I, play, I played i played i played rust and like i was playing rust with my kids and literally was just like this is this is too toxic i can't do this this is fucking crap <laughs> like i'm out oh you should you should see some uh, I, just I've is only, like i've only re- kid toxic on, like online arc toxic yeah arc's pretty toxic uh, especially on, especially on public servers like the mega the mega clans or whatever they, whatever they call them are can be toxic as fuck but honestly to 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 that statement most of those clans are coming from rust so i mean you, yeah. you want to... <laughs> okay next? Moving on. Um, sorry, I was in the process of refunding my my order for Overwatch Two. <laughs> so, um, uh, they showed them. We got them. <laughs> got him. Uh, Fuck you, Bobby. <laughs> they showed. Yeah, honestly, it was just the Enigma's comment about putting a dollar in Bobby Kotick's panties that just kind of sent me over the edge. I was okay with forty dollars. Forty dollars in pot. <laughs> oh man. Um, Scorn, uh, that was another game that kind of came out. Um, this game has actually been um, showcased quite a bit. Um, that game looks fucking weird, dude. Like, I, I, I'm on my wish list for a while. And you said it was like something up my alley, but I went back and watched it again, and it, it's 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 grotesque, more uncomfortable it's like than it's I, body horror. I would like to deal with in a game, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've been looking at it for quite a while, and I'll I don't know if I'll play it or I'll just watch it. Yet, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah it does know. look it looked, weird. It, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I thought it looked kind of cool. I mean, um, again, it's Game Pass. It Try it cool. out. <laughs> like, I mean, it yeah. it does look cool. Like it, it looks cool in a weird way. It's not something that I would personally play because I'm not a big horror fan. But it's also you know. they, they kind of broke me on when they said there was no combat aspect of it. So it's like a walking simulator in a puzzle game, in like a weird fleshy world. There was combat unless they botched or they removed that idea. They said in the trailer that there's no uh, no combat. Interesting. There, there, you can be attacked by things, but you can't fight back. I thought you had like 
weapons and whatnot, though, made out of like body parts. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. I could have sworn this. Yeah, I think I think you're thinking about yeah. something else because, like, it, it, I'm pretty sure that they showcase combat in that trailer. Yeah. Ah. There's like weird body, like bone weapons and shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I, I might be thinking of something else then. My bad. Yeah, no, it's, there's, it's full. Good. It's full combat. I mean, they're, you're, yeah, you're shooting guns. Because cause one, too. one, one of them, yeah, one, one of the things is they said that the like, guns are things that you want to hold on to because like yeah. ammo is scarce and shit. So you want to you want to go down the route of like melee more than guns. Yeah. So I'm pre I'm pretty sure they got combat. Um, this is another game, Flintlock. Um, this actually was one of the uh, a, a new game that we <clears throat> um hadn't seen. Um. Uh, before and it, it looked really cool like it's like this like world war one style uh kind of uh era but like in obviously this just alien world um it gave me so all right um i i don't when i say this i don't want to come off wrong it gives me a a, a poor man's forsaken vibes Right, like I think Forsaken. <clears throat> like when I saw this, I was like, "Oh, this like Forsaken in a, in a way of just like some of like the like visual elements of it." Um, but you mean it, Forspoken? Forspoken, not Forsaken. Yeah, Forspoken. Sorry. Um, yeah. like I got small element like uh, like things about for where I was like, oh, "Okay," like some of the movement when it like maybe it's just cause it, like pans in over the shoulder and like you warp around yeah. and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. It looked cool. Like I think again, it's the we, movement. I, th I think it's the movement as well. Like the movement seems very. Like Forspoken had that, uh, yeah. yeah. For Forspoken had that kind of like fluid. No matter what direction you're moving, like the the character was able to like adjust to it. And that's one thing that I thought was impressive about this was that the the movements felt like it had um, physics behind it. You know, like yeah. it looked like when when your character was running and then she stopped, she continued to go for a little bit. You know, yeah. Which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. It, it I I got I got big. Uh, I mean, not big, big, but like I, I got some, uh, some slight Assassin's Creed vibes off of it as well. Yeah, I could definitely see that. See that? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. It looks cool. Um, I think it, I, I'm I, looking at it. Yeah. This, this was one of the ones that I was like, I'm, I'm actually kind of exposed, or I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. I about said, I about, I about said, spoken. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say exposed. It's like, bro, put it away, man. Exposed. Not, not in the middle of the show. Um, okay the next thing was minecraft legends i i don't know what to feel about this, this looks weird dude like i don't i don't i don't know um is it supposed to be like um like a supposed to be like an rts yeah like it's, an it's, rts it's, action combat oh, game right like I would have do you think there's a world where mahjong cannot make minecraft like or minecraft no. games like do you think they could ever move no. past minecraft i don't no. think so man it's, Minecraft it's too. It's too ingrained. Diablo. Yeah, it's it's way too ingrained in what what the actual like if if Mojang made something different, it would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing this? Stop it. <laughs> even if it was still in like the mommy, box, daddy, like, stop fighting, stop, please. Like even if it was still in like the art, like the block style kind of pixel style, you still think they couldn't get outside of Minecraft? No, I don't, or no, okay, I don't well think then, so. do you think they can take Minecraft into a, a different? Like they're obviously taking trying to get this into different directions, right? Is this? And yeah, I don't think it's because with Minecraft dungeons and all this in the Minecraft like, story mode, story yeah. mode, yeah. <laughs> and but I don't think any like, of them. I mean, succeeded. the the one the one good thing that you you have with Mojang and Minecraft is that because Minecraft is so vague about their story you can do whatever the fuck you want with it, right? Like, the Minecraft universe itself, they're expanding on it slowly with the with their version of Minecraft, but, like, it's open to very... It's very open to interpretation, right? Right. So, it's, well, it's obviously, possible. Like, they, getting... could, they, could, they could take Minecraft and make, like, an, an action... Or, like, an adventure RPG into it. Like, I, I think that that would be... You know, honestly, all, all that happened with me seeing this trailer is just my hype for Hytale. Growing. Right. Yeah, that was right. the same. We, I was. I, I, I was talking. I can't remember who I was talking to about Hytale the other day. But it yeah. was. It was us. It was me and uh, Pika and and you. Pika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the so this the art style threw me off a little bit because it's it's not Minecraft style art. Like it's it's pixel, but it's like it's almost like not cell shaded. But like if you go back it's and look at it, it it looks like it, it's it has this weird like art style to it that's not. Like that right there, like that that's that screen right there. It's like their their trailer cinematics. You know, yeah, have you watched those? Yeah. yeah. They look like they pulled the art style straight from those. 
but it's just it, it looks like a, a very uh very processed or whatever you want to call it like a uh and and a cgi almost i think it's also weird that the that they're calling it minecraft legends um when they're they're doing it because because they they have to have that minecraft name onto it no no, i know but i'm saying led like legends to me like kind of goes to what like scruffy was saying like it immediately kind of like brings me to go oh high tail mmo like yeah Yeah, like like kind of stuff not uh not whatever the fuck this horseback riding rts style game is I don't know. I I was it's like very oh, strange. Okay. <laughs> cool. It's the, it's the worst part about Minecraft these days is like they've taken it down a route where I don't know I don't know where they're gonna take it now because like they can continue making Minecraft and like making updates to Minecraft, but well like eventually Minecraft will die. Yeah. Eventually. Maybe. You oh. know? <laughs> it hasn't died yet. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like a statement. Like Minecraft itself. Eventually, eventually, Minecraft will die. I, I mean, that, they said the same thing about World of Warcraft. Look at where World of Warcraft at. They said World of War, Warcraft is, will never Blizzard die. Blizzard has done in general. Yeah. Well, this Maybe. this we'll is this is going down the route of what Blizzard was doing. They they're branching off all of their IPs and making them into shit that people don't really want to play. <laughs> No, um, until you try it, it actually looks pretty interesting, and you guys like the I don't uh, know about that. Diablo Minecraft. I like, no, I did like dungeons. I, did, I, I didn't like dungeons at all. I, yeah, I liked it. I liked dungeons. It was short, um, but no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I just I wanted more. And I, I went back. I went back and played dungeons recently with my with my nephew, and it's it's just it's still it's a it's a it's an adequate ARPG at best. This is anything like like actual like an RTS or a tower defense. I don't think I can get in with it because that's just not my style. But if it's very true, yeah, something to, I don't know. I don't know what this will be. Um, so, uh, Ooh. wow. Hey, I, normally we don't do this in the middle, but, uh, I'm, we just got, our stream just got raided, um, by music oh. man, music man. Thank you so much. We're in the middle of our podcast. Welcome in everybody. Welcome to the pre-patch podcast. Myself, uh, scruffy bill over on YouTube and enigma. We're all sitting here talking about the, the gaming fest. So thank you so much for the generosity. If you guys want to check out the other episodes of the po- uh, pre-patch podcast, you can go do so um exclamation mark podcast in the channel um we'll get you there uh but you can also check out our anchor uh link that will take you to um our show to get your other episodes or you can get catch us on spotify all that kind of stuff so uh yeah man um appreciate that thank you so much um thank you so much yeah yeah absolutely um so xbox didn't show a couple other things like I don't, I mean, Naraka Blade Point's come into Xbox. Woo, cool. Like, that's... It's like everything's right. coming to Xbox Game Pass like, now. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Gunfire Reborn. It's an old game, but it's a good game, but it's, it's coming to Game I'm Pass. Actually, I'm, that, actually, that actually is a big announcement for me because, like, I've looked at Gunfire Reborn. I know you guys have played it before. It's fun. Right? And I've, I've always been like, I want to play that, but I don't want to pay the thirty dollars that it usually is to pay for or to play it so like that coming out on game pass i'm like hey fuck it why not dude like i'll I'll try it out it looks fun i've I've watched you guys play before it looked really good Mm -hmm. so yeah i mean it it is it's a fun game it's a it's a blast right um did did i think that it needed like this is the part of the xbox showcase where i was like this is filler content like this is content that i'm like you could have done maybe instead of because they did they like they showcased a trailer for like each one of these. And I was like, dude, you could have just done like a jam packed, like, yo, like games coming to game pass that are, you know, Naraka, this, um, you know, stuff like that. Like could have been a quick hit. Yeah. Um, but they showed it. Uh, there's another game too that they showed, um, which was the, um, light year frontier. Uh, this game actually looks kind of dope, It, but we're not going to, sh- I'm not going to show it because there's a big game that we need to oh, show man. that we need to talk about. Um, yes, that was actually one of them that I wanted you to show. I was going to okay. ask you. All right. So, All right. Fine. I'll show it. No, no, no. no it's, it's fine. It's fine. No. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, it's, it's, yeah, too late. it's too late. It's too late, bro. It's too late. I already brought it up. It's too no, late. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. absolutely not. You got to see it. Nope. It's on here. We're going to talk. We're going to show it. <laughs> we're show it. If we go over time, it's Enigma's fault, not anybody else's fault. So, so just make sure okay. everybody knows that. Um, I, this, I actually thought that this looked really good. Honestly. Yeah. Like, this is so a. This is, like, this is like Stardew Valley meets like. Um, what's the, what's that one that you guys are playing? It's, it's that, Slime Rancher. This is this is like Slime, Slime Rancher, Rancher, but Slime Rancher. but you like it, it's. Oh it's no! This looked like scrap mechanic to me. Yes, yes, Kinda, that was yeah. one. Scrap mechanic and and like Stardew Valley meets like Slime Rancher yeah. meets scrap mechanic meets like Star uh, Star or Star not Star Citizen fucking. Uh, it 
it looks relaxing, no bro. Like it's just like a game that's just like very chill, very relaxing. It does. Yeah. Like I can get down with this. I'm all about this it. Right? Go up. Yeah. Chance? Yeah. Multiplayer. Know. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's it's cool. multiplayer. Yep. They, they show it at the very end. Oh, it, like, it, just, it just look it just looked really fun. Like it, it's it seems like you, you can you can upgrade your mech suit. Uh, you can do farming. You can get like little shipments and shit in from space and all that crap. So it it just looks like a relaxing Stardew me Stardew Valley meets like like I said like space game random yeah, yeah. generic space game. It's this game is called Lightyear Frontier. So this is all games that were on the sh the Xbox Bethesda showcase of Summer Games Fest and, and stuff like that. And once once, um, once again, once again, just just to reiterate this, all of these games are coming out in the next twelve months. Yep. So you got a lot. Every to play. game that we're talking about tonight, pretty much from the Xbox Game Pass or from the Xbox Showcase, is coming out within the next twelve months, and more than likely, I think other than like one or two of them, on Game Pass. Yeah. So. Um. So, and then we actually got the official news that Grounded will go full blown 1.0 uh, in September, which I'm actually looking forward to. I yeah, have not jumped into, into it. That. I, I should I, play I that. Play. I always wanted to, but I never. Yep. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to wait. Um. Crap. I thought. Okay. There's another game that I want to show. They had just. They. They literally. Like, this was. This, was, this was the fucking. This was how Xbox did it, man. It was just like banger after banger after banger after banger. Um. No, we did not get any stray cats, but we did get great, great things like. That's my jab. That's my jab at these two up that are right above me. That's that's I my jab stray, at them. I want a stray cat. No stray cats. Um, hey man, no stray cat butthole either. They're gonna make sure they, they block that out. So you're not gonna get any stray cat butthole. Um yeah, this, oh yeah, I remember this it, one. This game looks so good. Um, and I love the concept that you're playing what from the, the name shadows. Of this again? Um Airban uh Shadow Airband. Legacy. Yep. Um, so you're hunting and you're playing from the shadows, which I think is such a cool concept. Um, and they showed like some of the platforming puzzles um of like how you have to get around because light uh obviously uh the world is being taken over get by these the robots and you have to be yeah out of the light um and it just it, it i don't know it's such a cool concept when i think that when games do that when they play in the this element of like um you know a stealth game that again you need to be in the dark you need to be stealthy like that right there like the puzzling oh god dude it looks so good yeah. like i love that kind of style no like don't look fun. a good stealth game in a while too no yeah, we have not. It, it is not. Yeah. Don't Clancy. Don't Clancy. Yeah. yeah. Please, please give us a splinter cell. That's actually so a splinter cell. We we so. do need more splinter cells. Yeah. Yes. Um. Okay. Uh. The big one. <laughs> um. Uh, this I. Man, I thought my like my like Diablo factor was just kind of like completely shot to hell. Whenever because of, of Immortal, right? Like you guys aren't aware. Immortal is a big. Fucking cash grab, pay to win, piece of shit. Scared. Um, like still, thousands still upon to, thousands to this of day on on the daily basis, still coming out with shit that they're that people are finding out about how fucking shady their their tra microtransaction shit is. Still making money hand over foot, um, left and right, like thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. I, I, I will I will I will say that I did see a thing that said that they their first two weeks they made twenty four million, which is is like a tenth. <laughs> A tenth. What? Well, hold on. Is it, it's a tenth of what uh, Diablo three made in the first week. Diablo three made one hundred and twenty four million, I think, one hundred and twenty four million or something like that. And these guys made twenty four million, so they made barely ten percent. They still made twenty four million dollars, <laughs> man. Like still twenty four, like, twenty four million. I I agree with you. It's still twenty four million more than that game is worth. But it's like yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. People stop stop putting money into Diablo Immortal. Um. But then I, I would say people stop putting money into uh, Blizzard, but yeah. you know, one of <laughs> I our tried. one of our I tried one I of our hosts, among us. apparently. I tried, man. I'm trying to refund it. I'm trying to refund it, Chad. <laughs> um, the fact that you did it, sin. I know that's fine. You can shame me for a week. Next week, no more. I don't want to hear any more about it. Um, Diablo Four. Uh, we had not seen. So let me let me. Well, it's fine. We can run it while we're talking. Let me set the, like, the precedence here, guys. Diablo 4, the last that we heard from this game was that it was indefinitely, like, uh, what was it? It was indefinitely delayed, yeah. right? Anytime a game, yep. anytime a game hits delay AKA indefinitely, canceled. right, it's gone, it's canceled, we're not seeing it, it's not around, right? So we all heard and felt Diablo Immortal was our Diablo 4. That's what we, like, myself and Enigma sat here and talked about it and was just like, this is, this is shit. Like, we just got shafted. So we went back to play Diablo 3. Then Phil Spencer pulls this shit out of his back pocket and throws it down and goes, oh, hey, by the way, here, 
didn't say it was Diablo. We had like the trailer for the Necromancer that came out was just like Dude, we thought it was just a Necromancer I, I, game. I thought it was just a Necromancer game. I was like, this, I'm, I'm for it, bro. I'm, I'm down. I, I had a chub. I'm not gonna lie. I had a bit of a, like a half chub going on. You got and, baited hard like hard because me and enigma were like watching it live we're like dude this looks fucking great like what is this game this is amazing and then all and, of and a you, sudden you know you know what was going through my mind while i was watching this right or that 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 uh that necromancer trailer right you know what was going through my mind man this is really blizzard-esque <laughs> <laughs> well you weren't far I was like, off. damn this reminds me a lot of like a blizzard fucking cutscene and then out of nowhere bro we get hit with lilith and then this and it was like holy shit um and so uh yeah i don't know man and then so immediately my wheels start turning and going okay well how much of diablo immortal are we gonna see in this game um and rod ferguson i don't know if we can trust him or not i guess i'm i guess i'm a blizzard shill now because of what i did but 100 are at this i point. i tell you God, look dude oh my god it's, it's greed like look at that that seems so dope like um but it, I, i'm I don't know, man. I have faith. He was like, there are no, pay the only paid things in Diablo 4 are just cosmetics. That's it. It's only cosmetics. No, no stat attributes, no nothing, no anything, no stones, no nothing, like just strictly only <clears throat> cosmetics. Um, well, it should be. So in, in, in before, in before the cosmetics give you stats in some way, shape or form. It yeah, yeah I, I mean, I hope, dude, I, I, I hope they don't do that. Like, and I got very Path of Exile feels off this. Like, when I look at him, like, yo, this looks like Path of Exile, just a very prettier it's version. Of Path, of Path of Exile feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I don't. I mean, again, I don't care. Like, that's fine. But no, this right man. here, dude, they're bringing back PvP and they're bringing it back in open world, and I'm down for it. I get them like, as Bill likes to say, but I get to be worry, a toxic piece of shit. Grieve. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not grieving. I'm just the warden will live again. I get to bring it back. I'm so stoked. AKA griefing. That's not bro. griefing. Yeah. Bro, if you don't, don't flag if you're gonna fish. That was 100% griefing. That's it. Don't flag if you're gonna fish, man. But what I like, <laughs> here's what I like about this that they're doing that I think New World should have done. They're putting a like they're putting a bounty on you. So you go out there and do that. You kill people, you become you get a bounty and you get uh I don't know, like they haven't gone in detail as like how the drops work off of it, but and how the gear works. But if they want to say, hey, man, if you're going to go out there, I doubt they'll do it as like, you're going to go out there, you're going to lose a piece of your gear because nobody would do it at that point. But uh, you do become targeted. Like you become a, a, a point of interest for people to go out and kill. Uh, essentially kind of like becoming your own world boss, right? I think that's dope. I think it's a great idea. Like, yes, give me a reason to go PvP and then make me fucking fight and, and regret my choice of going PvP. I like it. I'm all about it. Um, now, may, maybe maybe you've looked into it far enough. Like, like if I'm not mistaken... The from what I had been, from what I read and from what I understand, open world is open PvP. There's no option against it. There is uh zones. You, you're there's certain zones, zones that are, that yeah. are PvP. It's not um it's not just everywhere is PvP. Um okay. So you, yeah, it's, it's 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 specific zones. Um, but there are events that happen in those specific zones. Um, and and what they have said. See, um. But see that that just that right there just worries me even more because again when you think about Diablo Immortal right now and the state of their PvP right now it's it's trash. Like the more money that you spend in Diablo Immortal right now directly equates to you winning PvP matches. It's a mobile yeah. game and it's pay to win. They, they have a patent for it. Back in right. 2016, the a patent for a matchmaking system that pairs people that pay for upgrades against people who don't pay for upgrades so that the people who don't pay are more in like are basically bullied into paying nice as long as there's no microtransactions that affect stats in this there should be no problem with pvp right like i don't i don't i don't i mean so what's your fear enigma that you're gonna go in there and and that's gonna be just like diablo more it's it's my it's been my fear since we since we watched this i've, I've been like i i understand i'm hyped for it as well I, i'm look for i'm looking forward to it and like we said when we were watching it like i sat there for weeks being like nah fuck this fuck this fuck this diablo immortal shit diablo's immortal shit Di diablo's immortal diablo immortal shit right i'm still gonna buy this because it's a diablo game we haven't had another we haven't had a fucking diablo game since 2012 10 years <laughs> um yeah, but i don't if there's so, no microtransactions I, there's no like i don't i don't think i mean i, I don't know what your fear is there of but, being but again they said the same thing about diablo right immortal now. yeah 
well, empty okay. promises right yeah. now. Anything yes. can change. And you, 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 can, you can argue that the semantics behind it was, was different, that they were saying, oh, there's not going to be, you know, everything's going to be cosmetics. But they still said it, and they still went back on what they said. You know, yeah. it's, okay. it's still, I mean, I, look, it's still I, I can't, fucking I can't, Blizzard I, being I, shady I, as I'm fuck. not going to defend them. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and defend them and say it. I'm just going to say that, like, I'm very much looking forward to this. And if they do what they're oh, saying... I'm all in, man. Um, and I think that this game could give a run for the money for Lost Ark because Lost Ark is in a real shit spot right now within the Western audience. Um, you know, we're not getting what we're wanting from Lost Ark. No. Um, so this could fill that void of being an M like an MMO experience with an open world setting that gives us PvP that's not pay to win. Um, and it's Diablo. Like, bro, check all my boxes. Hook me up. Let <laughs> me, like, yes. All about it. So, I don't know. Super. And, and it has... It blizzard to give you any of that even even like a little bit of that is upsetting. the only the only thing the only thing that i can say is that i'm hoping that blizzard not blizzard i that i'm hoping that microsoft has a little bit of say in what's going on with diablo 4 but at the, at the same at the, that's what blizzard, i was about that's what yeah. i was about to say at the same time they don't own blizzard right now and that deal is not slated to go through for another year so depending on when this when this releases, it's still going to be under Blizzard with Bobby Kotick. Yeah, I, again, if, I'm not, if, if, I'm not if, saying... if everything if everything that we've said if everything that they say is true and it's going to be released with the, everything in this show is released in twelve months in the next twelve months, right? And I think we were we were looking at it and you were thinking that it was going to be first quarter next year, that's right? Like that's December, still, that's still, that's still December. my thought. That, that's still that's, my that's, thought. that's that's your thought. It's it's a rumor. It's it's probably warranted. I don't know, but it, it, to me personally, if if it's under Bobby Kotick, I'm really worried about it. I mean, yeah, I'm like not, really I'm not, I'm not, dis, I'm not disproving what you guys are saying and, and, and disagreeing. I, but I, I can still hope. Riding the hype train. I can still hope. Why can't I hope? Why can't I be hopeful for a better tomorrow? You have, enough, you have no reason to hope until given a reason. Well, maybe I don't want to be pessimistic. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I well, want I mean, to. You, you, have, be you have no reason to hope and be be excited about Stray. You don't know what kind of fucking game Stray is going to be. Like, yeah, Stray's going to be the best game. <laughs> oh, go write a zipline, Scruffy. It goes, <laughs> it goes both ways on that. I, I understand where you're coming from, but then the again, I'm 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 looking at it. Stray though is Stray is a fresh like start, whereas this is from a company that's done nothing but shady shit for the past six years. Okay. Well, again, so. I don't think anybody is arguing with you on yeah. that case. We're yeah. just saying that uh, he that that we're hopeful. And, and one that this yeah one one thing that I do want to point out with somebody in my chat, uh, Luminari just pointed out that in today's article there was a cut. There's an article that said that Kodak is actually retaining his position even after, um, what's it called? I, I Microsoft takes over essentially. So I don't think that'll be that, very long. That is even worse for me. Right. <laughs> I don't the think fact it, that he said he was going to step down. Now he's backing out of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, was that was him? Well, not, not, down? not just not just that, but that that Microsoft is willing to keep him. I don't think. So, wait, and wait, I think I think that it was for like twelve months. It, the, he he basically extended it for twelve months, if I'm not not mistaken. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that they that he it came out that he was going to be stepped down. I think that I think Spencer came in and said that we are going to look at and into like how that needs to be done, but um, I don't think that they're saying that he is, I don't think it came out that he was going to be stepping down like a hundred percent. Um, it is worrying. I, I, whatever, I don't think it'll last long. Like I, I do. I, the one place I will say that I will argue tooth and nail to is that I have a lot of faith in Phil Spencer. I think Phil Spencer, uh, understands gaming and, and, and this, this space in a very, very high level. Um, I, and you know, I've, I have talked to people that have talked to Phil Spencer. Um, and I don't know, man, like I, I, I would not be shocked if he is there for, a quarter for you know maybe at most six months if that and then he's gone um i, I just i don't i don't know maybe i'm wrong but i yeah no, so i mean I, i'd hope the same but i'm, I'm sorry i, I miss I misrepresented so uh, luminary said that today's article for kodak for retaining his position is worrying and this is on the heels of the harassment stuff um he says the stuff they said we didn't we did an investigation and we heard nothing of the sort so it never happened essentially he's he, he's saying that it, it's worrying that kodak is I, I assume you're saying that he's wor you're worried that he's he's possibly going to stay there and that the fact that blizzard is is stating that they don't they don't really see any issue with the the harassment stuff that they saw today yeah because they got off scot-free from the, uh, the yeah. lawsuit because they cleared themselves 
Yeah, like, this, they this, this is what we were talking about the other week. So the, he's he's basically bringing up the fact that remember, I don't know if we actually covered this with Activision saying that they they like it came out after they uh, they uh, so basically Activision or Activision Blizzard has come out and basically said that they did a an internal investigation into the sexual harassment stuff and the discrimination stuff and all that that came out like six months ago, right? They came out and said basically we ourselves not anything to do with the legal team suing them from california but them them they themselves found no evidence that there was any kind of sexual harassment and or workplace discrimination inside of blizzard activision so <laughs> there's still um aren't there also still uh, other uh I don't think it's over. I think I don't. I don't think. No, I think it's not. No, they're they're still, still being over. investigated by the state of of California and several they other themselves. Like they investigate yeah. themselves. Like uh, yeah, that means a whole yeah. lot. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it's like it's like a murderer so being like, no, no, no hey man, look, look, I, I investigated myself. So, I didn't murder somebody. Yeah. I know. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Exactly. It's okay. We're clear. <laughs> like okay. All right. Okay. That's uh, um, that's that's the Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Yeah. Like. <laughs> But that's, um, that's the biggest thing that worries me about that entire thing is just like, and, and Bill said it himself, and and I understand where both of you are coming from. Like it's it's a it's a slippery slope and it's shady as shit, and that's that's why I'm excited for it. But I'm on on the same. It's a double edged sword where it's like on one side I'm excited for it because it's Diablo. We're finally getting another Diablo after ten fucking years. It looks good. It, if everything that they they've promised they come true with, if they come out with. It's going to be fucking amazing. There's PvP. There's open world PvP. There's fucking open world bosses. It's everything that we've wanted from a Diablo, just not from Blizzard. And the Necromancy looks pretty good. Yeah. So, oh, look, I'm just going to be hopeful, man. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm wanting. Um, they announced, I, I think this is actually pretty cool. They also announced uh, Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royale. Why I think this is actually cool is because this is a play for Xbox. Uh, for the Eastern market. Um, they have been trying to crack that, uh, that market, um, you know, the APAC region pretty heavily um, and have not been able to do so. And I think this is a step in, the, in that direction. Um, you know, hey, getting more Persona games. People love Persona games. I don't understand them, but, I, but people love them. I'm all for it. Like, cool. They're bringing it over um, so you can play it on Xbox. Um, we got a trailer for a game called Wulong, or Wulong Fallen Dynasty. We didn't see any gameplay, have no idea. I thought this was a Ninja Gaiden game. I thought it was a Dynasty Warrior game. Then I thought it was a Tenshu game. Then I thought it was that Wukong game. And But no, it's it's Wulong Fallen Dynasty. It's from Team Ninja. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that's happening. And then... Uh, yeah, the kind of games, just to backtrack a little bit since we're kind of speeding through, those are also coming for uh, PC and PS. Uh, PlayStation as well. Yep. That yep. same pack. Yep. <laughs> They're coming to um, pretty much everything. Um, and it's on Game Except Pass. Except for Nintendo. So. I think Nintendo's the only one that hasn't confirmed, but Nintendo's got a uh, Nintendo Direct coming up, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's Nintendo's there. been getting everything, dude. Like they, they announced today that they're getting uh uh No Man's Sky on the Switch. Oh, well, nice. um, there's uh, a lot of rumors that they're about to revamp that system. Like, they're about to drop a new I one. I don't doubt um, it. Yeah, so, I don't doubt um, it. But uh, then um, the, I think the cherry on top of this uh, was the last thing that they showed, which was Starfield. Um, and a rotten cherry with a worm in it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so Starfield, right? Um, I'm going to skip past that dude. Cause I don't think anybody likes him either. But I, I don't know. I mean, okay. Enigma, I'm going to let you talk about this first because I feel like you're probably more hyped than anybody for Starfield. Um, yeah. and I, I mean, mean, I'm, I'm excited for it because I've been looking forward to them finally releasing it for a while, but I don't know. I, I've, I've got, I've got my reservations for it. Just like I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I used to be a, a Bethesda guy, right? Like that's, that's no secret is to be a Bethesda fan. Until you took just, a narrow to the knee. Yeah, I, I exactly. <laughs> but, uh, it was more like a fallout 76 to the knee, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, like it's, it's, it looks good to me. I, I thought it looked really nice. A lot of people were bitching about it saying that it was like too close to, I. Uh, some other fucking games that released like a what what was it was it a oh crap what what were the which which 
game were they saying that they they it was like so closely resembling? Was it No Man's uh, Sky? I think there's it was no, no Man's Sky. Well, they said right. No Man's Sky. They also said Fallout. Um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I, so. I, I think I think the I one that I saw her. on Twitter was was a No Man's Sky. They did like a direct correlation between the two, and I'm just like, what the fuck do you want? Like it's it's a game trailer. It's the same fucking like it's 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 like baking a cake, right? Fucking game designers, right? Game developers these days, they go off of a the same bullshit. I guarantee you, if you look back to, at any of the announcements for the last fucking three Fallout games, they'll closely resemble each other, right? That's just how they do it. Like one hundred percent, that's just how they do it. It, it. It's a climax, or it's it's an opening. It's a climax. It's an ending. That's that's yeah, how they're gonna do it. I feel like it. we have so many games nowadays that we relate them all so much to each other. We For try true. to find yeah. any similarity we can. I so, think I'm surprised but, nobody compared it to a Dark Souls game. <laughs> Every yeah. game is Dark Souls spell. Every game is Dark Souls. <laughs> Every Dark game Souls is does. Tetris. Or Pong. Pong, that's it. Yep. Every game is Pong. But uh to 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 talk a little bit about it, I mean I thought it looked Okay, it it still has that jank, that same Bethesda jank. Unfortunately, the I jank thought you love it's the spice. I mean, I'm I don't really love it. No, that's that's not the that's a bad spice. That's too much spice right there. Too much. It's too much spice. That's like somebody went and dumped an entire fucking bottle of paprika in that shit. Like you don't need that. Nobody wants that. It's gonna taste bad. It's so, gonna leave a really sour paste in your mouth. So okay, <laughs> I, I understand why people are saying No Man's Sky with with this right. Like so th this. This is, a, where's my mouse? This looks or has the feel of No Man's Sky, right? When you look at like the way that they, you know, they mine it or whatever, yeah. but I, I get what you're saying too. Like you can only mine a fucking thing so many different ways. Like if they yeah, pull a pickaxe can, out, it's yeah. going to be fucking Minecraft only, if they do. There's you know. only so many times that you can have the, the uh, a unique trailer before things start looking similar. And yeah, I mean, right. they, they have a lot of shit that they had to show off. Like eventually and, you're gonna show off the same things that another game shows off. And right? I think th I think that they right. said they said like, oh, fuck. Now I gotta turn you down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, what I, happened right there? Hold no, he. I, I I found the setting that was. I had a Windows update and it fucked my sound and I didn't realize it. Just like um, my ears. What the fuck? No, nobody <laughs> told me I was really quiet. So I just turned you off. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so. Uh. <clears throat> anyway. Um. I think also too like F E meaning iron, but I just want to let everybody know like that that's the fucking like that is the that's, that's the periodic that's, table for, you know, iron. for like, iron. Like, like is what it is. It's not like No Man's Sky was what like you, you know what F E it's, I think is going to be iron from now no Man's on. Sky patents it. <laughs> like um, so I, I, I hope get, nobody's that stupid. I get, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Apparently, there was <laughs> a lot of people that were that stupid because that was a pretty big fucking contention. I mean, I, I, the, contention. The, the, the laser mining, I I can understand people like making the comparison, but like you guys were saying, there's only so many ways that you can mine a rock. I say this gun yeah. is like dope. It's like a futuristic P90, and I'm they knocked that dude. They were like, why is it? Why are, now they're ripping off Call of Duty? I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I it's I get just, like uh, if if we want to rip, if we want to, I don't know, this, man. If, if you want to rip them, like rip them on the fact that if you're watching this, uh, like it, it's it, all in 30 it, FPS. Yeah, it fucking. Uh, like, I'm like, dude, if you're going to show none of it, none of it went FPS. past fucking 60. I guarantee or went past 30. I guarantee you that. I'm like, please do better. Like, I am. Ex <laughs> I am extremely worried about that because it, like I was trying to say before, like when we were watching this, I was under the assumption that they had upgraded to the Unreal Engine, but apparently it's still on Gamebryo. No, yeah. Why we're still on fucking Gamebryo, I, I have yeah, no man. fucking clue. Yeah, Gamebryo is literally be on Gamebryo. Gamebryo is literally a twenty-year-old fucking engine. Yeah, well, and it's that so, is ridiculous and because it's the same engine, and it's t the FPS is directly tied it's, to the game speed, and it's it's terrible. It's, it's well, the, the same engine that they have used literally for fifteen to twenty years, and they have band-aided it every fucking release. You know what's sad right? about it is like, that like they have they have they have like jimmy rigged certain things onto it to make it look better right and that, that's why this looks so high fidelity is because they've gone in and like pieced together shit and it's just like no dude please move to a different fucking en engine already well, what's, the, please what's God. crazy is that the fact that they refuse to like there's a i'm not saying it's easy like I don't, i'm not a coder but i like there are threads that talk about like why this is it's because like in skyrim for instance or fallout the entire world is it's it's in most games there there's still open world but it's still instance based in what happens right so basically once you cross the threshold the game has that loaded right 
But yeah. what happens is basically it cuts all the data from the back end and caches it so it's not really there. And so, like, if you throw a billion fucking wheels of cheese in a house and you cross a threshold, those billions wheels of cheese don't really exist. And that's why whenever you cross back over, there is a, like, there may be a hitch, right? It's because they're loading all of those fucking wheels of cheese. Yeah. In these games, they just persist forever. Like, it's just never going away. They don't, they don't, like parsect it out they just completely just complete dumping more shit on top of it so i mean i'm not saying that there's not like the jank is obviously going to be there the, the the trailer was like fucking uh, again running at 30 the, i was the like trailer I, was super framey the enemy ai like the monsters look like your standard like fallout style like monsters like and the actual like shooting in combat itself just it just I don't know. It just didn't look it, good. It, it, it see, did the, not. The, and that could thing, have also been the fact that the dude was just refused to aim down the sight the entire time. Yeah. He was just hip firing yeah. at everything. The, but the thing, the, the thing that I will say is that like, I think that the combat, like the gunplay looks a little bit better than fallout did. Yes, fallout yeah, so they've, they've done better. something. They've done something to it. That's made it a little bit more. I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even say realistic, but it looks better than fallout it, 4 it, and and i don't know i didn't play cyberpunk but it kind of looks almost like cyberpunk slightly yeah yeah one the right. one the other thing that i will say is like the faces and the animation the character animation at least inside of the uh the cutscenes, looks like a thousand times better than yeah fucking fallout 4 and 76 looks one thing so that whatever has whatever they did they they upgraded that fidelity at least which they needed to because like the the faces and the char the characters inside of fallout 4 and 76 look bad. dog shit yeah. they look terrible yeah. one thing that has me concerned also is like the amount of health that enemies have i don't I, he was dumping like an entire mag into these people to like take them down that seems oh, yeah. excessive for like that's your standard that's a fallout enemies. thing i'm yeah. i'm okay with that i feel like it's, it's even, an rpg like, thing. Fallout, fallout you could like at least like two or three bursts something not like an entire yeah. It's almost mag. along the I line mean, like early fallout game, yeah. new vegas fallout new vegas was a lot more spongier than four yeah. was uh but i liked that better i don't know i liked the the spongiest that fallout uh, new vegas had compared know. to four four I, Oh, a little too easy for me. The combat I, AI I, I also give looks these like your standard Bethesda combat AI people just like oh, yeah, it's, it's, again. It's the game, but, it's, but it is, it's, you're never, you're never Bethesda, going to be able to yeah. get the fucking top of the line AI on the game Rio engine. That it's you're just not going to be able to do it. I mean, until it, they it, upgrade that engine, it's it's done. It, it, it replace it. Like the yeah, okay. it replace it. That's what I meant. Yeah. The thing about it is, is I think we all have to keep in mind, right? And I think everybody has to keep in mind. Like I get like that they're that people want advancements and i mean i like what excites me about this is like the ship customization the character customization the character elements like the the like the, the ship customization is the only thing out of this that actually <laughs> excited me because it looks fucking cool the space like stuff looks neat but everything else just looked suboptimal like it just looked know, Bethesda. Man. Like, it, it, honest to God, like, it just, it looked Bethesda. Yeah. Like, that, and, and that's what I was saying. the Ratchet and like, Clank just... lockpicking game from, like, Ratchet and Clank 3. I, I mean... Well, what, what, did, what did you expect they were going to do? Have a fucking lockpick, like, in, in Elder Scrolls? You were going to... I figured get your we fucking, would be past lockpick get your, get your, uh, get your Get your little, uh, you know, your little, your little space, you know, screwdriver and your little space hairpin that you don't even fucking use because you can't get your hairpin in there. Yeah. What you say about lockpicking, though? Oh, the the lock pickings. Uh, it's the same as the uh, the lock pick mini game from Ratchet and Clank two or three. One of those games where you have to like rotate the wheel to get the uh, the nodes lined up with the slots. On it, honestly, like what they should have done is instead of going down the lock pick route, pick route like that, they should have gone down the the uh, the hacking route. Everything should have. Yeah, I agree hacking. with that. Yeah. I th I've always liked the hacking mini games more than I've liked the uh, the lock picking. Yeah. What what uh here's what i'll say about it right it's a bethesda game it, it's I, we all, i don't think anybody I, if you're expecting anything other than bethesda you no i, I don't I'll know agree why. with that yeah you, like, like from, from, from the from the get-go <laughs> from the get-go i was i was just like this is there i i wasn't i'm not even actually looking forward that that forward to this game it it looks good it's a space game i'll probably play it i'm not gonna buy it day one i can guarantee you it's game pass that. what are you talking about get on game pass 
True, true. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> no, 100%. Game then, yeah, I'll, I'll play day one on Game Pass. I won't pay any money for it, but yeah, 100%. I hope I like it. I'm going to get it on Game Pass. I hope I like it. And then with the possibility of me buying it in the future would be more for modding it. Mods? Yeah. yeah. The, the worry you know, that I the, have. The one, the one, one thing that I will say, though, is that like the space flight and the space combat do look good. Yeah, but that's like, it. They, they don't do. look terrible. They, like, that, that's they do it, indeed. Like, but that's again, if it were here's my fear about all of if this. If it works. If you yep. take each like they've already confirmed that you can't come like go from planet surface space to, to space planet yeah. seamlessly. No, it's, it's, which there's they, a, which they, honestly, honestly, people God. got pissed off about that. And I'm just like, what the what, why? Bro, I don't understand. Like, well, if they, like, they would have done you it, expect, they, did you expect that they were gonna have a thousand fucking planets and seamlessly go between them? Yes. Like, I mean and, no man's sky does. Yeah, but no man's yeah, sky is no not built off game real engine. Like, no, and, and you think this isn't going to be jank as fuck? I no, think this I'm, is I never said that. No man's I never out. said that. <laughs> I think the, the thing is, is that, and, and this all adds up to what my fear is, right? Like, we talked about the game real engine. We talked about each individual thing. If you take each individual item minus the hacking and you, you like, give it out, those are individual games on their own, right? Like, you take the space yeah. game, that is an individual game on its own. You take the, the, the mining, colony building, you know, spacecraft stuff, you know, building, that's a game on its own. You take the FPS, that's a game on its own. You take the Game Real Engine and you dump all of this shit on top of it. I don't know if any of it's going to fucking work. Like, I don't know if that's any it, of it I is going to fucking work. The Game Real Engine awesome. can't even handle one map, let alone a thousand maps. That's what I'm Come saying. So, could, could, so people that are bitching being like, oh, well, you can't go from ground to, to space seamlessly. Like, do you think that's that what, the That's what I was trying to say. Is like, like, did you think that that was ever going to be a thing? Like... like Oh my god! I, mean, it, it, I don't think it's an excuse that the like. No, it's an excuse. It's, it's not an excuse. It's out that have a similar aspect to them that do it better. Yeah, they. Yeah, no, they nobody, nobody's they, denying that. Nobody's arguing with you. We're we're arguing yeah, the fact that they like, should have. This is supposed to be a brand new like game. This yeah. is supposed to be like. Yeah. In my I agree mind, with you. I, I agree with you. Moving both. the dial forward. This is kind of like I agree with stagnant. You. No, I completely agree with you, one hundred percent. Like this, the, them releasing it with that kind of a fucking state, where you don't have the most basic of basic bitch things. That even No Man's Sky, which for the longest time, even even when it was jank and first released, you could go between space yeah. and full and and ground seamlessly. Not acceptable. I agree. I mean, it, I, I, guess it, I just also hope the we move planets thing embryo. is. A fucking ruse. That's 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 a Todd Howardism. If I've ever heard of Todd Howardism, like I'm sure there's probably a thousand places that you can land, but I guarantee nine hundred and seventy five of them are just going to be like an iron deposit planet well, that, or a yeah, they, water planet. Yeah, that's already been out there. That, that's 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 kind of well. I'm sure. What's the point? He he didn't come out and say it. He he said that there are planets for the way he's like you said a, a todd howardism he said oh there's plan there's a thousand planets planets that you're going to use for mining planets that you'll exp yeah. uh, you know explore new life I, absolutely like if you're believing that this is not a thousand planets that you're just going to go and explore and it's going to be complete like fleshed out worlds yeah. absolutely not like they're going to be most of it will be dead planets that you're just going to go and do a, a mining job on or, and then come back or if if, any, if anything they'll have a thousand planets but each and every one of them will be derelict and dead but they're and also not have like 20 planets that actually have like something on them. You know? It's also yeah. not procedurally generated, which I think is also the game real engine can't handle it. But like, yeah, that I was just, gonna that, say that's never been a thing to expect from. Yeah, but that, those are, but and, and this is where cool. it would be nice, but that's and on right. honestly, to tell you the truth, to tell you the god honest truth, like uh, No Man's Sky does procedural generation on their planets and it's terrible, it, it looks like shit, like right. 100% looks terrible. Their procedural generation on their plants and animals and on their meshing collides on a fucking regular basis. You can walk into a stone that's not technically there, but it's still there on your on your fucking on, on your screen. But like right. the next person that comes over, there's no fucking stone there. Right? <laughs> like, that's, yeah. that's why we have modding is to keep things fr <coughs> fresh. Well, Excuse I, me, I'm dying. Yeah, I, and what I think honestly, I think a lot of this is like. What is Star like? What does Starfield Two look like? like? I know it's crazy to fucking be like, oh, Starfield. We're already looking for Starfield Two, but like, what is the next iteration like? Because this was in a game that's been in development for what over a decade, I think is what he said. But realistically, let's say no, I um, doubt that. Probably, no, probably like what, five I would years say for like two or three years. Uh, I'd, I'd put if five. That. I think five. I think five is a, is a realistic 
I think I think it's there. probably been in preparation for five, but normally when it comes down to their actual development, it's two to three years. Okay. Like so Fallout Four great, was the whole Fallout thing Four was years. technically technically it was in development for five years, but they storyboarded it for three and developed it for the rest of that time. So this would have been before Xbox got their hands on it and they would have had abilities to have yes. Xbox tech. Like Yo, make Starfield and then give Starfield over to fucking Obsidian, yes. right? Or give, yep. like, you know what I mean? Like, the flight stuff, I'm, like, I'm yo, sure get that, flight I'm sure simulator that, shit. I'm sure that they benefited. I'm sure they benefited from, like, the, the Xbox uh, partnership with, like, getting tech that they could pop into their fucking shitty game real engine to make things a little bit smoother. But I, I, I highly doubt that anything, when it comes down to them being owned by Xbox or, or by, uh, yeah, by Xbox would have made it into this. Yeah. maybe may, maybe start or may, maybe uh what's it called elder scroll six i could see a little bit possibly but i doubt it i don't it. know i don't know i, I doubt, doubt it. it yeah i doubt that um moving on to so a scruff potion craft got an expansion buddy i did see uh, that I mean, potion craft alchemist um also talking about expansions we're all excited for out we're outriders world slayer right like that's oh, yeah, coming yeah, that yeah. is pc game show um killing floor 2 is getting another update uh um arma 4 is coming out um nobody is excited about that um system shock is getting a remake which is pretty dope um we're let's see uh i'm actually really excited for warhammer 40k space marine 2 i love i i I like space marine and i'm excited for space marine 2 that game looks fucking amazing that's Um, that's gonna be such a good game man yep um and then we ended up uh Resident, uh, Capcom announced a bunch of Resident Evil, um, stuff, which we talked about pretty heavily on, uh, the Sony show, uh, when we talked about Sony showcase, but, um, they have Resident Evil 4 is getting, a a um, a, a redo, obviously the VR stuff is coming. Um, Resident Evil, uh, seven, was it Resident Evil seven, Resident Evil two and Resident Evil three are all getting next gen updates. Um, Valheim is coming to Xbox game pass. Um, Dragon Dogma Two is coming. Um, by the way, oh, Dragon's Dog- Dragon's Dogma that's, is on sale for five bucks right now on Steam. That's that's actually pretty big. I don't I know if you guys have ever played Dragon Dogma. I need to play Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. It's really good, man. I know. I've heard. Um, yeah, so Dragon's Dogma Two. Uh, that was kind of the final thing of all of it. Um, but it's it's five dollars, like five dollars right now on uh, on Steam. You should go buy it. It's um, I played a little it's bit a, of it. It's, it's a really, really good, good game. Um, and I actually found out that there is a mod that is multiplayer. So I'm just saying, anybody on here, like, let's go. So, um, but I'm now going to turn this over to our Final Fantasy expert, which is Bill, uh, because there was a shit ton of Final Fantasy news. Um, so you let me know which trailer you want me to show. You tell me where to go and I will do it. I don't think we need trailers. I think it's pretty quick and seamless you can pull up the picture of seven uh, rebirth trailer if you want rebirth got it Kojima or whatever but um so final fantasy 7 25th anniversary happened we got a bunch of new stuff one of which is including uh final fantasy 7 rebirth which is part two of the remake trilogy for final fantasy 7 so that's pretty neat they also are remaking crisis core uh, Final Fantasy VII, which was a PSP exclusive title. Um, it's the one that follows uh, Zack. But uh, so what? Th- this is so. What is what is Rebirth? Is this a? It's it, it's it's Final Fantasy Remake Part Two. Okay, so it's just calling next... it Final Fantasy Remake Part Two. It's Final Fantasy Rebirth. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, I apologize, guys, um, if, we're, if the internet is acting up. We're, if we're stuttering, I don't know what my my internet is is acting fucking wonky for some odd reason. I have no clue. Um, yeah, anyway. um, Crisis Core remake. A lot of people are excited about that. If you didn't get a PS, have a PSP, you uh, you can actually play this game now. I'm pretty hyped about it because apparently it's really good, and it kind of acts like a prequel to like the Final Fantasy VII universe. Um, and then Final Fantasy Remake Integrate is finally on Steam, which is Final Fantasy VII Remake with the DLC. 
added to it. So if you were waiting for it to come out on Steam now, you can play that. Is this stuff coming to Steam too? Like Rebirth, is that coming to Steam as well? Or is that still going to be... Uh, it, it'll be it'll be a timed exclusive like what uh, Remake was. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um, Final Fantasy VII, the first soldiers, the, uh, the mobile battle royale is still a thing. Um, I guess season <laughs> three just started, so they're pretty... I didn't even know about this. There's a Final Fantasy... Ba Wait, you said it's mobile, though, right? It's a Final Fantasy VII mobile battle royale, yeah. Can I can I dump money into it to make myself better so that I can, like, slot get gems? I, th I don't think so. I think it's all oh. cosmetic-based as far as Damn the pay-to-win aspect. But knowing Square Enix, I, 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 I could be wrong on that. It's Damn a battle it. royale. Yeah. yeah, it's a battle royale. It's amazing. And uh, then they... Amazing. uh. The, the weirdest one to me was a uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, which is a single player mobile game that basically connects the story of Final Fantasy VII with Final Fantasy Crisis Core, but it's like the turn based style, but with like upgraded graphics. But... It's like a Kingdom Hearts kind of thing. They do yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's like an episodic, like, yeah. it, it, it's, it's really weird. But it's basically another way to play the OG Final Fantasy VII storyline on mobile. Interesting. If if you want to, it was it was really weird. It actually looks like pretty good, like in the overworld and stuff. You're like chibi style, and then when you get into the uh, the combat segments, it looks like the Final Fantasy like remake graphics. So pretty dope. Yeah, those I mean, were the uh, those were those were the big things. Final Fantasy. They're working on four different Final Fantasy seven projects right now. On top of <laughs> Final Fantasy sixteen, on top of Kingdom Hearts three. That seems to be the. Uh, I'm actually kind of big thing from Square Enix coming shocked forward. We didn't get any uh, um, Kingdom Hearts stuff. That's actually kind of shocking. Uh, by the way, this is I have verified it is on Twitch's side. It's not on my side. Like I have. Just speed test and everything or what, this is something it's on youtube side too then because yeah. mine's been this is, stuttering too i don't know so. if it's like i don't know if it's obs or like restream or what we're using or whatever else but it's yeah, it's the only place so mm -hmm. um anyway um I, but yeah we didn't get any kingdom heart 3 like did, was anybody else shocked about that like that's kind of no nah, I mean, they they talked about really. kingdom hearts 3 a couple months ago I, it's too early to bring anything else up about hearts it four, are we talking about or, yeah four or, yeah kingdom hearts four, four yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. 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 Didn't three didn't three come out like yeah. like two two years ago or something like that? Yeah. Uh, a couple, two or three years. Two or three years ago. Yeah. yeah. Um. They they but, usually have pretty lengthy times between their their releases, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. So. And Final uh, Final Fantasy sixteen was talked about the PlayStation showcase, so they yeah. didn't have a need to bring it up here as well. Yeah. Between the last Kingdom Hearts and three was like twelve years or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see anything for a while. I just I thought because of the whole not controversy but like the whole kind of thing about you know the art style and the way that some people like we would have seen maybe something um, you know I don't know yeah. even if it was even if I don't know a suspense maybe. build yeah something but whatever yeah. um, you know uh, that's it we we did it I'm actually pretty shocked man we covered all of it in fucking in in time can't blame Enigma. like damn uh, it cannot blame them so uh, if you guys have questions right. uh, feel free to answer I don't know how much longer our internet can my internet can fucking hold out or whatever's going on can hold out anyway uh, let's, let's uh, but, uh yeah. yeah so um but that was it guys that was the show um I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like I said we always you know the one thing I will say across all of the different shows is that we're not going to give you like the internal aspect of like, you know, in the industry thoughts and like what, like we're going to give you live gamer feedback, what we think, right? Like, um, you know, people are going to hate on things. People are going to, you know, uh, like things, um, whether it's stray cats or Diablo for microtransactions or it's Bobby Kotick and underwear. Watch to get by over shoving $20 yeah. bills and Bobby Kotick's uh, panties. Yeah. Whatever, man. Like, look, like we, you know, we, we give you the real raw aspect and that's what makes this show so different than a lot of other places, right. And a lot of other shows. So if you like the content that you're here, especially because we got rated and thank you again, uh, to music man, um, and uh you know uh for the for the raid again i apologize that the internet are just doing whatever else but if you guys are coming in here are new and and you liked what you heard go check out you know some of our vods you can again 
Uh, go to anchor.fm backslash prepatch podcast. Um, you can go to Spotify and get it. You can go to YouTube and get it. You can go to Bill's YouTube channel and get it from there. Um, you can get it, like I said, here on our VODs. But go check it out, right? There, we have 60 episodes, right? Over a year's worth of content, um, you know, uh, if you listen to it every single week. So um, we're going to be back next week doing another show. Um, normally we do these every other week, but uh, because of what happened um, and not being able to uh, do a show last week, we, we doubled it up. So we are going to be back live next week to our normal format, talking about the gaming news industry um, and what we've been playing. Thank you again uh, for being here and hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will catch you guys next time, hopefully without shitty fucking internet. So catch you guys later. Bye. See you later. Peace. Later. Bye.